Right. It's still structurally sound. It's just an old fucking house. Your house sucks. Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> episode to seven. Episode six. Seven? Episode seven. eight. No, it's seven, idiots. I said seven. This is seven. I know. I so that's so David being the idiot. I, I know. He's an idiot. And you're just inherently you're an idiot. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, David. Well, oh, fuck you, too. Wait, hold on. Did you get the Zebo? No. All right, Zebo right, Watch 2019, and why are you not buying it? Oh, <laughs> uh, because my dryer died, and I have to replace it. What? Your it was like a fucking 15 year old dryer. Put it, hey, get a clothesline. Yeah, I have that now. You, temp- go outside. Do the, do the credit plan. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, fuck Get that. A, buy a fan. If I can't buy it outright, I don't want it. Don't wear clothes. <laughs> <laughs> you wear, yeah. like, one pair of clothes as it is anyway. Like, who cares? <laughs> yeah, we have one pair of clothes. <laughs> I rotate through a week of business attire, thank you. You know, two more people like have been the watching the Z-Bus since we last pointed it out. Yeah. I think people are fucking around. So we just created an artificial boom for the Zebo with our oh, last go episode. Go fucking buy this goddamn Zebo. Oh, people. Go buy the Zebo. There's there's 13 people in the world that know Zebo exists right now, and they're all watching it. So not including us. Not include. Well, not including well, us. Too. Yeah, he's watching it. Yeah, I'm watching it. Actually, I'm not. Wa- I'm not watching it, but I have it in my my like su- not suggestions. But Recently like viewed related items and stuff, wherever. Or, yeah, previously viewed. Um, so every time I go on eBay, I see it right there. I'm just like, oh, there he is. I don't know. After it's I get still my there. Quarter, my quarterly <laughs> bonus comes in next week, and if it's enough for me to get the dryer and still have and Zebo, over, I might get a, yeah. I well, it he, should be Zebo and then the dryer. You're gonna lose out on this, and it's gonna suck because you're gonna have to track this thing down later. Yeah, it'll be one of those at least you'll have like thirty years thing. down the line. I'll find one. Yeah, for like five thousand dollars. Listen, you guys forget. I live in Maine. I can only use like a clothesline for like three months of the year. Yeah. The other nine months, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Just buy but more see, clothes. There the, you Zebo's, go. the Zebo's from Brazil, so it's like warm and shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's not how that works. Let's get that, yeah. <laughs> Listen, you open the, bo- hey, you open the box. What's that Jesus statue? Open the Listen, box for the heat. Done... <laughs> I've what's done that, the keto method of drying like, my clothes, clothes in the like... oven before, is that but you know what? That was desperate times. Is that the statue of Zebo? Is that what the name of the Jesus statue is? Welcome to, to the Blue Ruby Podcast, Episode 7. This is our weekly gaming podcast. That was Zebo Talk. If you don't know where Zebo is, uh, it's a Watch Brazilian system. <laughs> uh, we learned about that last week at last week's trivia. So, trying to get David to, to buy that. We'll get we'll we'll hear about it. Yeah. Uh, I'm Adrian. Chris is over there in the Star Wars black shirt. David over there vaping. Chewbacca, rest in, in peace. Yo, rest in peace. R.P. in peace, buddy. Chewbacca's dead. You gotta do the rest of the episode. <laughs> long live Chewbacca. Uh, be long lived if he's dead as hell. He posts these every Thursday at around 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And yeah, this he... shirt's not breathable at all. I'm like fucking dying, bro. Good. I don't feel like moving. Like, bro. comment, subscribe, give us a five star ratings on our video. Oh god, don't you do that? No, I refuse. Yeah, give us a five star. Remember that? I said, whoever YouTube gave, for 2012. I, the, the, smartest, <laughs> the smartest thing that YouTube ever did was take away the, the stars and put like and dislike because whoever yeah. whoever made like three yeah, or two, two no one ever, yeah, no one ever did two or four stars. It's like, I, you I used to, video, I used you to like do it. three. I used to do, do three whenever it was like already a three star. I'd be just like, <laughs> I want to stay right there. <laughs> Keep it at three. <laughs> so it was already averaged at three. I was like, you know what? That's perfect. <laughs> Keep it right there. That's the only time I've ever do a three. Uh, also, we we did get confirmation that David is indeed a coward. Oh yeah, that's right. About. A couple of people did put that in the in the comments. I, I told uh, I told everyone at the end of the podcast because you weren't buying Zebo to uh, comment in there, coward. And uh, we got a you're people. full of shit. No one commented on that. Yeah. Oh, no. hey, 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 make us a bet. If if you see a comment that says coward, you got to buy it right now. Otherwise, yep, you're a coward. Right now. Yep. No one fucking watches our shit. All right, they go watch it. We'll wait. We'll fucking we'll, Actually, we'll that wait. Last, that last episode got a lot of views. Yeah, because no, we're talking about we Zebo. <laughs> we d- uh, I mean, two I'm... of our viewers don't bother commenting. Don't worry about it. Okay. Did All you right. see it? On whose it's... channel? Gore's. Yeah, on mine. <sighs> that doesn't count. I, I get the views. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's where you get most of the views from. <laughs> We're, we'll eventually have a dedicated channel for all this. That's one of my weekend projects. One of your weekend projects is buying his goddamn Zebo. 
No, maybe next weekend. We, Actually, no. Next weekend, weekend I'll be they're gonna, they're gonna, Well, these are going to for sure stick on Gore's channel because we still got... Yeah, I, I'll keep putting it on there. But, but you could uh, you could switch it over to there for Adrian's if you want. Oh shit! Actually, yeah, that's actually a good point. Stop, uh, hi- next... stop fucking hiding. Did you see coward or not? <laughs> I'm trying to pull it up. Uh, while I'm pulling it up, uh, I won't it. be here for the podcast next week. I'll be in Salt Lake. Oh yeah, bachelor right, well, fucking cause, cause, day. Wait, but, because he's not here, that means I get an extra point next year, week. No, right? that's not how that works. If you're absent, you you get yeah. You that's, 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 get that's not how that works. Yeah, you only get a couple of absences and that affects your grade. Yeah, yep. There you go. It's like school. <laughs> oh, fuck you. That's not how this works. <laughs> this is school. Well, he's trying to school you with these game trivia, so I don't oh, know. Shit. You missed you missed learning. So you missed learning. I don't even <laughs> see the fucking <laughs> podcast up here. All I see is this Game of Thrones bullshit. Scroll down. Okay. All right. Oh, all right. Well, while I'm looking, here you for go. This fucking Look, podcast, you see that? It says blue like, rupees, like. right? Can you see that? No. Like David, David, don't hide. You know you fucking see it. All right. Hold yeah, on. Yeah. I want to make sure you can see it. Yeah, right. you give me one second. Scroll up this shit. I don't want. I don't want no no frux. Okay. No frux. No frux. No frax. Here you go. You see that? No frax. Blue, blue rupees. I'm gonna scroll down now. No, he doesn't Here's... believe me now. He thinks he swapped a different video. Yeah. Okay. For some reason, they say David the coward. You probably can't see that. <laughs> <laughs> Pieces of shit. Oh, uh, it was number six. This was on, right? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Find it. You can see it. The one with Zebo in the title. Coward. Did, yeah, all right. Yep, exactly two comments of coward. Yeah, you're getting yeah. called out. Peace. I mean, because you are a coward. Let's be real. You really are a coward. At least two people. Okay, so our two singular viewers that I said no, we No, we get more viewers is that they don't want to listen all the way through, which I don't blame them. It's like a three-hour podcast. For, also, from now on, we should have timestamps. Just saying. Timestamp right. is ass. Yeah. Put a timestamp right here. Say just, just put all caps. This ass. Ass. <laughs> this ass. All right. Uh, I don't know how to. We got a lot of 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 news articles. I don't think we're gonna get through them all like appropriately. Okay. Your definition of news is is shitty, David. These are some Your comments. definition of news is shitty. A lot of get these the fucking fuck news articles are actually lame. Oh, is shit. the new Shimagami Tensei delayed or something? No. No details <laughs> revealed. <laughs> And yeah, we'll talk. We'll talk about it. We'll get words. to it. So a couple of these we're gonna talk about. Obviously, is Randy Pitchford going cray cray? Okay, uh, that one's good. Yes. Yeah, we got we got some riot employees walking out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, these are also, by the way, these are the article I wrote down. <laughs> uh, riot employees, I wrote down. You piece of shit. Uh. Okay. What what's, what's one of your dumbass ones? Uh, Persona Five Royal details revealed. Yeah, that's David's. Royal. Oh, okay. Well, I'm the one that fucking put the information about. What's the details Ryo. though? I thought we already knew these details. We just didn't talk about. We'll get to week. it. We'll get to it. And then okay. uh, we don't have trivia this week, but we're doing something different. I'm gonna make these. Wait, what? These, these, we're gonna what? make you. I'm gonna make, you, make little boys do something a little differently. No, I want to do fucking trivia. No, we're gonna do something else. You can do something different next week when I'm not here. No, yeah, what the fuck? No, because this is available for a lot of points. A lot of points are on the line with this thing. A lot of points, my ass. Now, I don't yeah. need to start throwing shit at Because then, if he gets all the points, then what's the fucking <laughs> point of even doing this anymore? Hey, he gets point, like 10 hey, points hey, ahead hey, of me, hey, and then hey. we go back to one point each. Like, what the fuck? Hey, the questions are made up, but the points don't matter. Oh, I didn't realize this was yeah, too long. The points do anyway. matter, and the <laughs> questions are bullshit. <laughs> all right, David, you get a million points. All right. Fuck that. I get one, <laughs> one million points. Points don't matter. No one. Do I get to be calling mockery then? Yeah, no you're, already, you're already going ball a little bit. I just. No, I got... no, I just routinely shave mine as soon as it hits uh, warm weather yeah. and keep it shaved. Yeah. How, how about, what's warm weather? What's degrees outside right now? Uh, it's like fucking eighty. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you bullshit. That's oh, it's so cold yeah. over here. Eighty is warm. Yeah, I hate it. You can ask Adrian. I don't do well in heat. <laughs> well, say that ain't warm. <laughs> Any kind of heat, I don't do well in. I hate it. All right. Like... Uh, what are you guys playing? Nothing. Piece of shit. You started no, Valhalla have... yesterday. I've been playing all the same shit. What? What? You started Valhalla yesterday, or did you actually play? Yeah, it? yeah, yeah. I put. Pl- I, I started. It, I only played about ten minutes. I just wanted to start it to get get it in there. Um, I don't know, so far it's pretty cool. I like the interface. Oh, that's uh, I mean, again, I only played 10 minutes, so I haven't really done much. But, uh, yeah, no, I really like how yeah, the interface is like a phone and stuff like that. And so far, I like the story. I like the dig- digitized graphics and stuff like that. 
Good so far, not much to say, but I've been playing a lot more Days Gone. So I've, I'm like 25 hours in that game at this point, and I didn't think I was going to make it that far, um, especially after the reviews. But uh, so far, it's I mean, it's fun. It is a fun game. Uh, it's not anything spectacular. Uh, I'm getting sick of saying doing like the same fucking missions. Is it, is it giving you over crackdown over. vibes? Not like not gameplay wise, but like no, 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 no. Because Crackdown had the same thing where you just go here and do that mission. Right. It's the same mission over and over again. But Crackdown had way less variety because it would be like go here and destroy this thing and go here and destroy this thing, except it's a little different. You have to shoot it on its side instead of shooting it in its face or something like that. It, it was always shoot things. At least Days Gone, like you have to stealth, you have to go here and like uh, capture this guy, you have to ride this guy down and, and shoot him off his bike. You know, there's, there's differences. You have to go here and like clear out the infected like nests of these uh, zombies. So there's still differences, but there's a lot of missions where it's just like, all right, you have to do stealth again. It's the same thing. You have to stealth around people. It's a, like mandatory stealth. You can't get found. Um, it's really easy. They put the bushes in the, the perfect places. So you just wait until the guy turns around. You just go over there. Right. Do that. Go and listen on a conversation then leave. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff that's just like very simple and they do it a little bit too much. But so far, uh, it's 25 hours in. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming I'm getting pretty close to the end. It feels like it's starting to really pick up. Uh, to like some sort of conclusion, but uh, it's pretty good so far. I like it. It's, there's nothing too extraordinary about it. I, I do like driving the bike though. The bike is fun. Oh yeah. Did you repair yeah. it like every two seconds? No. I, I, if you crash it a lot, you don't have to repair it, of course. But uh, I, I don't. Right. I mean, that's one thing I will say is I'm a little disappointed about the hordes. Um, because I haven't really encountered any really. A couple here and there, but uh, I was I was I was expecting it to be more about the giant hordes of zombies, and I don't know maybe later on, but like right now, not really many. I I, I encountered like two, and I, that was cool because I was just like driving, and I just drove right into a giant like mountain of zombie, like at least two hundred of them. I was like fuck, and I, I immediately I had to get off the bike and fucking run because <laughs> I crashed right into them. Um, and yeah, I ain't that some shit? You just leave your bike there, the thing that can outrun. Well, I had to I know, because I when know. you, yeah, no, when I crashed into them, my bike went to zero percent health, so I was like, oh fuck, I couldn't even drive it, so I had to just like run, scooby do your way out. Yeah, <laughs> and I do like that the hordes. If you watch them, they'll start to split apart a little bit, so you'll see them like you know maybe like ten of them go off on their own right. over here and stuff. So you can see them kind of split apart, which I, I find interesting. Um, but it's not it's not World War Z. I will say that. Like, World War Z was definitely more. I want to more of that. I, that yeah. the game, I have, like, an itch to play once a week. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah, yeah, that's we'll, a fun game. We'll this game's this fun, weekend. too, but it's definitely different. I, I was expecting it because the first time we saw it was this giant horde of zombies. And I haven't gotten to that mission yet. That mission supposedly in the game. I still have yet to get to that. Um, I'm not going to stream some of that this weekend if you want. <laughs> sure. Sure. Right. David, what have you been playing? Uh, I've been playing uh, three different games, actually four. I've been playing four different games uh, over this past week. Uh, of course, been doing Overwatch. Now that the event is over, it's putting that basically on the shelf until the next event starts. I've um, been working on Mortal Kombat 11. I kind of want to get a platinum in it just because it's not hard, just time consuming. No, it's uh, not actually. I already got like, like I think like 40 of the, platinums. the achievements. Yeah, I got four. Yeah, I got four platinums. <laughs> I got twelve, but uh, yeah, no, it's it's not a hard game to play. I'm just time consuming. It's like, yeah, fuck it. I bought the game. I may as well let it play itself for you know two hundred hours and then finish up what I need to do manually. Um, other than that, I've been on playing EDF five. Uh, fantastic fucking game. Glad I got that uh, while it was on sale, which kind of spoils one of the games I got uh, this week. Uh, but absolutely love EDF five. Been a big fan of the series for a while now, and it's such a great improvement over. Over the last game uh and other than that now to now that i have my playstation 2 modded uh, i'm running a fan translation for namco x capcom and finally starting to play through that a bit nice okay Namco X Capcom. Uh, Namco X Capcom is a RPG uh, similar to the uh, style of like the Super Robot Wars game, where it's just all Capcom characters, all Namco characters in a gigantic, almost kind of like uh, Project uh, Cross Zone yeah, uh, or Cross Edge, where it's just a big crossover of RPG, uh, kind of detailing all their kind of histories. And it's really fun. I like it. If you like Super Robot Wars style gameplay, it's right up your alley. 
Yeah, Adrian likes those, right? He likes Super Robot Wars. What what, what game? I, oh, I'm thinking of Mech City Brawl or something like that, right? And that's I don't know why. That's nah, he, he likes Project X Zone, though. I know that. Project Grass Zone 2, that was a really fun I game. Call it, I call it X Zone because I'm a fucking... No, I'm not child. Um, yeah. yeah, that, <laughs> just, that was... That was I'm just of, kidding. You're all cute. That was one of the games where, like, for, for, for the first time in a long time, it, it got me. I, like, went through it and completed all... It was, like, a 40-hour game, and it's, like... There's not many 40-hour games I get through these days. So, that was... That yeah. Was I still need um, to play through the second one. I've only finished the first one. Right. So, is there anything else? Nope. That's the four games I've been playing this week. That's it. Are you done? Um, I didn't really so? play okay. anything this week. I've been knocking everything out. I'm down on my last assignment, so. I Congrats. started I started a uh, box boy and box girl for a little bit. Yeah. Um. You like? But, yeah, it's fun. It's Comment. Cute. It's uh. I wish they kind of did more with the graphics because I know. Box Boy, obviously Box Boy is like super minimalist. It was kind of just a puzzle game, but uh, it looks almost like a mobile game when you uh, play it on Switch. Right. But uh, it's fun. It's cute still. Um, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna start Valhalla this weekend. I definitely, I've been wanting to play Valhalla. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Then I was gonna try yeah, to start. I was probably gonna start Jupiter and Mars this weekend too. I didn't hear it was very good. No. Shit. Yeah. Yeah, it has like a, I think a, like a 58 on Metroid. As, as long as it looks cool, that's more or less what I was wanting. I didn't, I I wasn't really expecting something big. Uh, I just want some. I didn't really re- read the reviews. Though. I just saw on Metacritic. I was like scrolling through new releases and I had like a like maybe like, I think a 58. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it's I'll better try. now. I'll, yeah, I'll try it anyway. Might be I'll, a 90 now. I don't know. I'll let you guys know what it how how it how it uh plays. But uh, what, yeah. what time were we at? So I just know. Uh, 16:50. Yeah, I'll just figure out where, when we started this. 1650, okay. Okay. Uh, so what did you guys get? <laughs> oh, well, I'll start off because I already spoiled one of them. Uh, EDF5, they did the kind of Golden Week sale for PlayStation Network. Uh, so I finally threw down for EDF5 and all the DLC for that. Um, I also got around for games, which is something that we should do for streaming because you promised you a train with me on it. Uh Picked up Tekken 7 on Xbox One, so oh, now I own that game on two consoles. And yeah, not a game. Now. Uh, and not a game. And normally, I'm not a big fan of these kinds of things, but I saw this on discount for three bucks, so I was a sucker and I got it. Oh, nice. nice. Gotcha, Mari. I know I that. Got. I watch Overwatch. I play Overwatch. <laughs> <laughs> I watch Better. Overwatch League. I don't I watch Overwatch. watching three three. No, that's what you two do. You watch that fucking Overwatch League. No, I let it stream in the background so I can get skins. Oh, okay. There you go. See, he's smart. <laughs> that's that's the only yeah, reason why you should, should, should do it. Yeah, I I don't really care about the skins though. Have you seen a new one? The All Star skins look great. I, yeah, I haven't looked yeah, at them. New All Star skins look pretty good. <laughs> you know, if I if I never look at them, that means I never think you about them. You know what them, sucks is that All Star <laughs> skins are are infinitely cooler than the ones that they uh. And they put out for 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 events because obviously because those ones actually cost money. If you, yeah. If you don't watch it. Well, I guess for some people the event ones cost money. Right. Yeah. I actually bought a uh, five dollars worth of uh, I guess just five uh, loot boxes a couple oh, days ago. Way. Yeah, that was the first time I bought anything because I really wanted that ash skin and I didn't get it, so you I said fuck it. No, I had enough, but I, I was like, you know what? There's other one I wanted the it? junk rat one. The, the junk rat one I got. Um, the Ash one I bought, I, I didn't get it in the five, oh, okay. I uh, but I got the, I got the junk rat one and I got uh, another one I didn't want. Oh, I got the, uh, the awesome, uh, victory pose for, um, yeah, Hammond, yeah, Hammond, not victory pose. The, uh, high, high of the game. I wasn't yeah, too high. worried. We're going to get them another chance here. To yeah, I know, but then I would have to probably pay for them there. Cause I'll be getting all these other events too. Cause they're all unlocked. Right. So, I mean, there's a couple of them I really wanted from the uh, the Christmas one. I can't remember which ones they were, but I remember I was like, you know, I'll just wait yeah. um, until the, uh, was it Christmas? It might have been the uh, the the China the Chinese New Year one. But, um, yeah, whatever. I'll just wait a couple weeks. That's going to be, I think in a couple weeks it has to be in because that's the, anni- yeah, it's the anniversary. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I, haven't yeah. played, I haven't played enough Overwatch anyway, so I, I, I'm I played a little bit. I want to do my, uh, I just, I want to do my, my my um competitive now so i don't have to rush it at the end of the freaking uh well, the season the re- the reason i why always I, have to do that the problem is that if you ever rank above uh 3000 it's going to just degrade you back down 
Uh, don't, you don't need to worry about that. <laughs> I'm really close, but I'm not getting there. I, I, I think I ranked 2840, I think, um, in my last one. I was just like, all right. And I know you have to, like, start, like, getting higher up there, but I never I never play competitive after the uh, the uh, placements. Yeah, it's it's pretty hard. If you don't do it, then you're going to usually not really – you're never going to rank higher. But you'll never – you will you don't ever – I know that. But I just want to do it so I can get the, uh, right, right, right. the points. Golden guns. Yeah, yeah. Um, which I have enough points for one. I still don't know. I, I don't – I yeah, have Torbjorn, no idea which right? one I want to get yet. I'm thinking Torbjorn, but uh, I don't know. Why would you not get Torbjorns? Because I want to, I want to like, I want to figure things out, all right? Because <laughs> the, Tor- right the Torbjorn one, I'm not really a big fan of how yeah, it looks. Yeah, but still your main. He's not my Always main. go for your main. Yeah. He's not my main. Like, if I get a golden gun, I'll be getting it for Lucio first. My mains already have the golden guns for us, so. Um, or I guess golden golden wrists and go- golden bows. I don't really have a gun yet. Gora, uh, what have you been playing? Uh, You mean what I got? Oh yeah, what you got? Uh, I only I only got one game. I got this off offer up. I did actually get something else that just hasn't gotten here yet. Um, uh, and this was uh, someone was selling it for sixteen. So I was like, you know what? I wanted to get it when it first came out, which was like a week ago. Uh, and I thought that was a little weird that they were selling it for sixteen when it's like a thirty dollar game. It just came out, but they sent it to me, so that's cool. It's a brand new game. And that is Dragon's Dogma. Yeah, on the I want to play it again, but I think I got that on Xbox. So. It's really, it's really fun. I played it on Xbox 360. I played the original Dragon's Dogma. Did not like it. Uh, didn't, they didn't hate it, but I was like, eh, I don't know. They need to fix a lot of things, and then they made this version, which fixed a lot of things. And I was like, all right, there you go. That's perfect now. Not perfect, but, you know, it's perfect for me. Yeah, you just climb on monsters and shit. It's fun. Uh, I got that, and I also got, I went to a, a Goodwill, which I don't do that much anymore, because my Goodwills suck, but I was there. And I was like, you know what? You know, I'm going to go in, and I saw this. It's not a game. I mean, it is. It's not a video game, though. It's, I got this. I, I remember playing with these all, a lot when I was a kid, and that's a. I got Bop It Extreme. Oh, oh hell shit. yeah! I, did you oh, watch it? it? Yeah, I cleaned it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I cleaned that bitch. Uh, there's some marks on it. I can't get it off. But uh, Ew. yeah, yeah, it, it, it was actually. It wasn't actually that disgusting, though. No, <laughs> it, no. I think. I think it's just. It looks like. Oh no! It looks like the paint's actually coming off. It's not a mark, but uh, it works. Fox Bob. Solo. Uh, I should have did that. No, I'm not gonna do it because it's, it's gonna keep going. So we found the next thing. I need to get a bop Shut it up. stream, and then we're just gonna have a bop it off for points. Bop it off. I have another bop it. <laughs> hey, hold on. I got this little mini one too. I got this for Christmas. This little huh. baby one. This one's fun too. I love bop it. I used to play that all the time in in school. Because my teacher had one, and whenever we weren't doing anything, we would just play with the uh, the Bop It Extreme. Oh yeah, it was sweet. So now I got one. It was two fifty. Yeah, good price. It was five, but then it was half off day. So. Uh, is that all you got? Yep, that's all I got. Cool. Um, well, so well actually, I... no, that's not true. I got some Switch stuff, but uh, it's digital. I got Valhalla. I got oh, yeah. Duck Game. Duck nice. Game's fun. Oh, I know Duck Game came out. Yeah, it came out. It's it's like twelve ninety nine, I think. Uh, yeah, I had only online or local multiplayer there, right? No, it's online. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll grab it. Let's play it then. That's why I bought it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say that's why I, was, I got confused. All right, yeah, I'll buy it. We'll play it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, um, it's it's fun. I, I I played it for like thirty minutes. I was like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but this is fun. All right, cool. Because uh, uh, on a small screen, that's like impossible to play. Because right. I'm just like, I'm just like, I don't know where I even am. That, that's it's dope, so though. quick. I'm glad that came out. Yeah, we'll do yeah it. it's fun. Uh, um, and I got. I got um, I got something else. I got like some game that was really cheap. It was like a dollar. Castle something. I forgot what it's called. Castlevania. Castlevania. Yeah, Castlevania. Good ones, guys. <laughs> uh, I wish that was on. <laughs> Technically, it will be on Switch because they have that Castlevania collection coming out yeah. relatively soon, I think. But uh, not yet. But anyway, it was like a dollar. I forgot what it's called. I don't have my Switch here. So all right. Well, you got? I know you. Uh, I know you want to tell us. Um. So now I guess I got Duck Game because I'm gonna go buy that in a little bit. Yeah, Duck Game. Um, I got Valhalla. The let's see. I saw so I, I ended up getting. A, I was waiting. In, I had just watched Long Shot in theaters, and I was waiting in my car because I like. No, I had just watched Avengers again, and I was like a, yeah. an hour and a half break in between for a Long Shot. So I was chilling in my car and I saw War 64 posted about uh some PS4 games on discount at Walmart. So I ended up grabbing this for five bucks. Okay. So I rebought that. Do the VR of that. Mm-hmm. 
<clears throat> that was good. Yeah, I, I I went to go really quick because uh those were clearanced out. Went to the because it's like right across the street from Walmart, the theater there, so it worked out for me. Went there and the uh, guy pulled out. There. I was like, hey, I just want to check this price. Like, yeah, like, five dollars. <laughs> like, cool, I'll take it. <laughs> He's just looking at his as uh, as friend behind the counter. Dude, the five dollars. I grabbed last one, so fuck it. Um, cool. last week I told you guys about uh something that I got, but I couldn't show you. Gory knows. I think you. I think it was showed you both. Now that the spoiler embargo has been lifted by the Russo Bros, now I'm gonna show this off. All right, spoilers end game. Ah, uh, that's a my, spoiler. Got my Mjolnir <laughs> hammer. <laughs> Now, hey, hold on, hold on. How is that even a spoiler? Because <laughs> you know, it's, it's not, presumed it's, destroyed. Yeah, stupid. So uh, if you if you just showed that, I'd be like, oh, it's from Thor one. No, it's not. Because yeah, no, I or, want you to know why, why I got it. I want you to know why I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to know why I got. It. You could have yeah. just said I like his hammer because it's nah, sweet. <laughs> nah. Although if I if I cared, I would have got Stormbreaker. But uh, no, I was, the I, hammer I, the hammer is much cooler than Stormbreaker. Well, Stormbreaker, Stormbreaker, like, Stormbreaker is just God of War axe. Like, exactly, man. You can throw it. I know, but a God of War axe is better. <laughs> yeah, but Mjolnir this, this, this is thing, so traditional. This thing yeah, is small. Stormbreaker now. doesn't even. Yeah, you have look, a cool at, you look at even Thor gets it. Thor's like, give me, give me a Stormbreaker. Stormbreaker, Stormbreaker's. Tra- it sounds like they're trying too hard, just like Wreck. That's the, that's the joke. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 They're trying much? too hard though. So, Mjolnir, Mjolnir, Mjolnir just sounds good. So I, uh, I uh, completely did the opposite of what I promised the last couple weeks. And instead of uh, going back on pops, I decided, you know what, fuck it, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna spend a lot of money and complete all my collections and just be done with it, so I can just stop. Be so done with the next versions of I've each got, pop. I've got no, up. no. So these are actually definitive endings oh. for me, at least until <laughs> you'll see. So, so first Is off, end game. Uh, no, because I'm not really, I don't really collect for anything outside of a couple of things. So I got all a right. full collection coming up here soon. There's okay. a lot, of, a lot of eBay stuff, but there's one thing in particular I'm super excited for to show off that it's gonna be oh, I'm so happy I got it I was I was eBay sniping like old school I was like all right what's the max I'd pay for this last 15 seconds I'm like fuck it typed in it was like still like thirty dollars before I put or lower than I, I put max so that, that worked out for me cool. uh, one of the things I got and this is kind of uh, I'm kind of a little upset about it but also not too um, so I ended up finding a super damaged Anthony and Ant-Man okay. and the one that little writer uh, this thing goes for like 30 40 bucks this okay. game damn it came in a fucked up box like super fucked up um but i was like i don't give a fuck about the box i just want the, the figure and then uh but then the problem is it's missing a wing even though he promises it was uh, a he promised it was a good condition toy so i emailed them i'm like hey yo your boy's missing a wing and it's not in the box he's like all right i'll just refund you five bucks if you want you to return it i'm like eh 15 bucks for the whole thing that's fine with me and okay then one of the ant-man things kind of messed up but got that guy you just put it put, put it on the side yeah, you can display it that way either way, but yeah, I might just, uh, find the side it, where you can't see the. I room. might just find like something at a craft store and just do that. Whatever, it's not a big deal to me. Craft store. Yeah, just find like a some to do a do-it-yourself wing or something like that. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea because it it'll look really strange. I would just put it on its side. We'll see. Either way, I or really throw know. it in the dumpster or give so... it to me. <laughs> <laughs> so better, yeah. I got that, <laughs> and then obviously, what was my favorite thing from 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 uh, Avengers? All right. Ant-Man punching that stupid thing. Is it Ant-Man or Giant-Man? Oh, uh, whatever. It's still Ant-Man. Beautiful. <laughs> there you go. Oh, look. He's he's now somewhat bigger. What was my favorite thing from Avengers Infinity War? Or, uh, Endgame again? When he punches the... Dumb, when he goes up Thanos' ass. He punches, he punches the... <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's pretty big. <laughs> like I, I got the full collection. But wait, I'm, it gets bigger. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look for a small one now, so it looks like it's going bigger to smaller. Well, he, he already has the big one's head in the background. Look at that. Yeah, I'm gonna put that at the end. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like Jesus. He, he ended up being so big that his head just fucking crushed his body. <laughs> uh, I got that Did I get Anything else from there? Oh, I forgot to show these off last week too. From uh, episode five, as I got oh, all yeah. my uh. Oh, nice. Brack show, Space, space Ghost. Space Ghost. Me, and, uh, me and Chris the other night. Was, were you in there, David? Me and Chris the other night went through the episodes. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. There's some there's some wild-ass episodes that I'm excited to watch. <laughs> I don't yeah. know why they have the, the people they have in it, but hey. Um, yeah, so I think, yeah, I'm hoping it's next week, but it might be the week after where I'm showing off uh, what is immediately one of my top five favorite things I own now. As soon as I saw it, I was like, this shoots the top five. It's not going to be number one, but... 
is definitely up there. So I'm excited to show that off whenever I get that. Right on. All right. Tell you. So I promised you guys trivia, and I come with you guys without trivia, but we're going to do something different. So our favorite time of the year. For, our favorite time of the year is coming up, E3. E3. So. Well, that's actually one thing I was going to suggest, but okay, go ahead. I want to, I want to see if it's going to be We're going to do predictions. And every prediction you nail off that, you get a point. Okay. If it's uh, if it's kind of fucked up where it's like you ask for like – it's got to be spot on because, I mean, we're handing out points that can now, so you got to be careful with it. But I'm saying if it's like – if it's like – if it's like – if it's like, uh, I don't know, like for example, if it was like Super Mario Maker – and you say Super Mario Maker Deluxe or something and it came out Super Mario 2 or Maker 2, then that would be wrong. You know what I'm saying? So it's got to be right. – got to be somewhat specific. Okay. Um, we're going to do well, one. Well, okay, this is the thing, though. They already kind of announced some things. Well, here's, here, here's what I'm going to say. As of this episode to the end of E3 week, that's our window of, of announcements. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is. Which one are we doing? Are we doing all con- conferences? You're going to each. We're going to, yeah, we're going to. We're gonna, do you guys want to do that or do you guys want to do like overall? I'd say overall, just because overall. there are a lot of people that are still attending E3 for the game companies. So well, what I'm yeah. saying is, I would say like we do one for Microsoft, for Nintendo. Okay. Uh, Sony will probably have a state of sure. play, probably. If they don't, it doesn't really matter. We'll just do it anyway. We I think that, Sony or... will have. Well, that's my prediction. They will have. Do you a want? Do play. you want to do it that way, or do you want to do it like oh, someone predicts something overall? Just five overall predictions. Sure. Sure what? To whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do the five I, overall. I'm okay with whatever. So, five overall, five overall just, predictions. Yeah, five overall or the uh, the other one. We could go to the other ones for for fun then. So take your five, the five that you think. We're gonna go alternating order. Who was up first last time? Gore was started. So David, you start this one. All right. Okay, so my one. first prediction for E3. Uh, this is gonna be one of the most off the wall ones. Uh, scale bound on Switch. Oh, so do you get the timestamp? Okay. Is that what you're doing? No, I'm I'm writing mine down. Because uh, time stamp 32, time. 32 minutes. I already got it. Okay. I, I, sorry, I sorry. Was that, David? Yep. Scale bound on Switch. Scale bound on Switch. All right. Gore, you're up. All right. Uh, hmm. I'm going to say. All right. This isn't going to be a massive prediction. I'm gonna say Microsoft Sony. Microsoft buys Nintendo. Huh? <laughs> Microsoft buys Nintendo. Just gotta play a little. <laughs> Sony's gonna have the new Call of Duty. Obviously, that's obvious. Sony? I, I, well, Sony has Call of Duty. Well, they're not gonna. They're not. They don't have exclusive rights to Call of Duty, but they well, always what, have. What's the prediction you think? They're gonna have. They're gonna have the state of play. I think. Um, and I think they'll have it at state of play. I think they're gonna do a state of play. Should, should that just be a prediction? <laughs> That they're gonna have a stay of play for E3. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Fuck it. Yeah, because it seems centering. They said that they weren't gonna sense. do anything for E3. That, that I, I think they're gonna do. Like... I think they're gonna do that. Sony will have a state of play. Okay. Yeah, maybe not during like the Is regular that... time they usually have their. So uh... not exclude, not including the one that's tomorrow. They have. They to might have even one... have one after E3. They actually. have to have yeah. one between now and the end of the week of E3 for this to count. Okay, well then I, I already won because no, I said, not, I said I said not including that one. I know. <laughs> okay, is that is no, that should, is that fine with you? That's fine. I the other thing was dumb. So, all right, David, you're up. Uh, my next one is that I think uh, we'll be getting uh, we'll get to be able to see some of the signs of the Project Re Fantasy that the Alice team has been working on. Uh, now that a lot of the Persona projects are kind of wrapping up, uh, by then uh, most of the work should, in theory, be done on Final Fantasy or Final Fantasy, goddamn, uh, on Persona Five Royale, and I imagine uh, Scramble should be not too far out behind well, that. Who do you think is done? This? Uh, it'll be at Sega, where they work through Sega with a lot of their stuff. Does Sega announce a lot of shit during E3? Oh, uh, they're supposed to be there with announcements. I know, I know they announce stuff. I mean, I don't think they, they do too much on that scale, but all right. Yeah, I think so, they'll, because I don't think we'll get anything with Shin Megami Tensei 5 again. I think so, they're so going to hold your, off on that. So. What's your definitive? That they're going to show off, finally, some in, more information about Project Re-Fantasy. Okay. Gore. Okay. 
Uh, I was talking about Call of Duty earlier. Now, I don't know. Have they confirmed they're doing a reveal thing for the next Call of Duty between now and E3? No. I'm going to say they're going to reveal it during... They don't usually reveal it during E3, though. They usually do their own thing. I'm going to say before E3, they're going to reveal it. Well, you it's can gonna say be... they're going to reveal it right now. because I mean it's, They're uh... going to reveal it, obviously. Okay. And it's going to be Modern Warfare 4. So that, that's, a, that's a two for one. Could so be. it has to be Modern Warfare 4 because I feel like it, Call of Duty announcement. Safe. It's going to be Modern Warfare 4. And yeah. it's going to have a major actor in one role. I don't Damn, know. He's who. getting real off in there. No, because I feel like this is an easy bet because it's called Duty there. So I have to like triple down on it. Uh, so if none well, of that, that's some big this dick energy. Major actor, all right. and, and when I mean major actor, I mean like a Hollywood actor. It, it could be someone that you wouldn't consider like huge. You know, like how uh, Modern Warfare. I mean, not Modern Robert Downey Jr. World, World War II had that boy from Transformers. You know, like that stuff. Yeah, Robert Downey Jr. And they had Kevin Spacey at one point. Yeah, yeah. Kevin Spacey. They had. Um, uh, in the zombies mode, they always have ha- actors. So um, they always have like big name actors. So I'm going to say that it's going to be revealed. It will be Modern Warfare 4, and it's going to have a major actor. Hell yeah. Okay. David. Square Enix will uh, talk about Final Fantasy 16. Ooh. All right. They'll cancel it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it'll be in development hell for, you know, 18 years. Gore. All right. I think I think the time has come, and especially since the last couple of months have been weird with the series, because there was a new game announced, and then they were like, wait, no, it's a, a phone game. Uh, and then there was a bunch of like uh, short films in the series that came out and stuff. I think they're going to announce a John new Wayne. alien, a new alien game, and it's going to be a sequel to Isolation. I don't know what's going to be called. Obviously, I'm not going to say a name. I'm just going to say it's going to be like. Isolation is going to be a sequel. Okay. Now, if it's Aliens, you're wrong. <laughs> oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> it'll probably, it, if it's going to be like Isolation, then Aliens would make sense. All right. David. Um, I guess if there's two Aliens, then it's fine. But whatever. I'm going to say for E3... Uh, Another Realm Studios is going to show off uh, all their DLC character plans officially for Mortal Kombat 11. I can see that. Where? Uh, knowing them, it'll probably be during the PlayStation comp. Uh, no, because Sony's not going to be there. Um, well, you could say stay at play if you think there's going to be one. I don't think there will be. So I think they'll do yeah, it during the play. Xbox presentation. <laughs> so, well, let me let me back you up here. Okay, so you're you're... Your thing is they're going to show off all DLC. I think they'll reveal all the DLC characters all for the them. All the DLC. They did yep. that with Mortal Kombat X, to be fair. They, they did all? reveal all of them. Yeah. All right, yep. so I'll do that. Then. Well, for the, each combat pack. You know, Combat Pack 1, they showed all of them in one trailer. Yep. And Combat Pack 2, they did the same thing. I'm going to put NetherRealm will show all of DLC. That's your prediction. I'm just going to put... You sure, you sure you don't want to say Combat Pack 1? Because then we'll have a second one. Yes. Yeah, so Combat Pack 1, I'll say. There you go. There you go. There you go. Thanks for doing me a solid, homie. Yeah, no, no problem. Watch, dude. No. That was Combat Pack 2 also. They're like, what the fuck? Is this? Damn. And I'm just going to put... You got a lot of rights. I won't, sure I won't count it in group. there. I won't count it in there, but I'll just put parentheses Xbox presentation. Okay. Yeah, uh, because Alien, I don't think it's going to be at... It, it could be at Xbox. I, You know what? If you want, put it at Xbox. I I'll just think put it in there. Be... Just, it's not going to count for anything, but just in case... Uh, just, just, just say uh, you get some little extra dick points in there. Okay. I got I got one. Go for it. You got one yep. dick? Beyond Good and Evil 2. They will show Canceled. Obviously. Canceled. <laughs> I will fuck it. it even, these, these, these votes wouldn't even matter because I kill myself around the spot. See, how about um, this? How about this? You want to put canceled that way in case uh you but that means you win, right? You either got a point if it's canceled, which is like hell yeah. Uh, it's, not <laughs> it's not my prediction. My prediction is the exact opposite. Beyond Good Evil 2 will be shown, obviously. I have an awesome trailer, gameplay, finally. And it will be announced for a fall 2020 release. It will not make that release. (laughs) 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 But they will announce it for fall 2020. What would you do if they just didn't show it at all? You know what? Can I just say 2020 instead? Yeah. All right. Because because usually they don't announce, like, what month. I mean, not what month. They just don't show it at all. 
No, they will. What do I they think know? they are. What, what they they if they don't, fuck them. Like, <laughs> they showed the last two years. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, were they going to show Steep 2? Did they show it last year? I didn't yeah. watch it. Yeah, it, it opened up with it. Oh, and then Joseph it. Gordon-Levitt came on stage and said, hey, guys, use my website. He has like, some weird website where you could like, put, put artwork and stuff in it. And they were collaborating with Joseph weird. Gordon-Levitt. Huh. Uh, I didn't hear weird. anything about it. Uh, all right, David. Watch it. It's actually it's a really good fucking trailer, too. Uh, and they show my girl Jade, too. Oh, is she in there? I didn't know she was in there. Yeah, because I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, this is a prequel. Now. Because Yeah, which is weird. They said it was a prequel way before Jade even existed. And I was like, oh, that's kind of shitty, travel. but whatever. I'm, we're getting it. And then a week, a, a month, and a month, a year later, they fucking, uh, they show Jade. I'm like, what the fuck? It's not a prequel. What's going on? It's is it a prequel travel. or not? It's time travel. I hope it's not. I want Jade in it. Time travel. What? Is <laughs> this? <laughs> Kids time travel. Time They're going travel back to when the game was still the not canceled. One had nothing to do with time travel. Oh, the fucking Avengers didn't either, man. Time travel. Yeah, it did it ish. I got I got a black marker on my hand now. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck are you? Eating? <laughs> I, I, I can't. I don't have a pen near me, so I have to use this fucking black marker. All right. I keep getting over myself because I'm a fucking idiot. David. Anyway. Uh, for my last prediction, because uh, we're at five now, right? Yep. Last yeah. Five. Yeah. My last prediction is the new Bioshock will be revealed. Oh my god, I fucking hope. <laughs> that would be god, like, if you give Gar- if, if you give Beyond Evil, Evil, Evil two and new Bioshock, and Bioshock, and Elizabeth <laughs> reveals herself, I'll be like, oh, bro. <laughs> yeah. What What if Beyond and Evil does the Bioshock tie in? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. I mean, I would rather them be two separate things, but if uh, if I had to combine them, that's okay. Right, I don't yeah. know how that would make Last that work, one. Though. All right. Last one. All right. Persona 5. Again. Is coming to Switch. Nintendo will announce it. <laughs> and it will be coming out October. God damn, you will not let this go. October? And it will come. On the Switch... And it will have a Nintendo character in there in some form. Like, like you could, like, dress yourself up as Mario or some shit. Because <laughs> you know they always do that shit when a, a, a third-party yeah, game. Yeah, you remember uh, Tekken Tag Tournament 2? Uh... Remember Skyrim? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Skyrim a couple years ago where you could play as Link? <laughs> what the fuck? This is weird. So, yeah, yeah. Tekken Tag. Oh, yeah, and Diablo 3 had the Ganon. Diablo 3? So, I'm going to say that. Just because I think Persona 5 Switch is... An easy prediction to make. Gonna Not that happen. it's going to happen, but everybody has predicted yeah. it. But I just want to add a little flavor to it. All right. Just for fun now. I'm going to see. Uh, I think Microsoft's going to revive an old franchise somehow. Gonna... Phantom Dust. Yeah. Yo! And this isn't really Blinks! Yeah. Dude, I, I don't give a fuck about Blinks, but I'd be popping off hard for some Blinks. I don't give dude. a fuck about Blinks, and I played Blinks. <laughs> I, I'd pop off hard for some Blinks, dude. I don't know why, but okay. <laughs> why not? They brought back like Chrome Hounds or some shit like that. All right, are you writing down your predictions? Yeah, just I'm not gonna. Obviously, Here. I'm not doing anything for fun, but we'll see. I'm just gonna. Oh, I'm gonna got them right. Uh, Microsoft revives an old franchise. Um, let's see. And I, I'm not allowing Smash predictions in here because we already did those. Oh, speaking of which, E3 will be when we find out if any of us were right. Yeah, yeah. but I'm not opening that until the end of DLC, because that's time capsule. Mm-hmm. Um, that's time capsule. We'll go, We'll keep up. We'll keep updates and stuff. And how much are we going to pop off if it Bayonetta is 3 gets E3. a release? A release date. This year. Ain't going to happen. Oh, Shadow Drop. Today. Well, today of the press conference. So next month. It's like Travis Strikes Back, though, or the fuck that shitty game was. I was going to say, Nintendo and Platinum do have a habit of just shadow dropping shit, so. Um, yeah. New Splinter Cell game. Yeah. Coming, well, we thought that was happening last year. I, I thought they already confirmed coming, that they weren't coming, doing a new Splinter Cell. Coming next spring. Yeah. That, that feels um, right. That's usually Ubisoft time. And... You know, with Far Cry, uh, Far Cry, For Honor... Uh, Ghost Recon, those are all came, they always came out in spring, I think, right? And or close to spring, at least. Do I want to say it has multiplayer elements in it? I think we thought smarter than that. 
Call, every Splinter Cell has multiplayer. Like, I was thinking more like on the level of. But not every, but you know, a lot of them do. I was thinking. Yeah, level, a battle royale. Yeah, I know you're talking about like Ghost Recon. Yeah, like I, about, I, that's I'll, what I'm scared about. If they announce a new Splinter Cell, they're gonna make a Ghost Recon Wildlands, and I'm yeah, just like, no, please I'm gonna don't leave it at that. Just make it a linear game. Like Hitman is great for open ended stealth. Splinter Cell is better for more linear. I mean, they're, they're, don't get me wrong. There's still a lot of places you can, you know, like dishonor your way through. But yeah. Or Dishonor had a lot of like verticality and stuff, but still, it's still definitely more linear than anything else, especially Hitman. Um, and Wildlands is just a fucking disgrace of a Ghost Recon game. Are we gonna finally? It's not, get... it's not Ghost Recon at all. Are, are, anyway, we gonna, go are we gonna finally get that Xbox Elite controller version too? Or the one that leaked like fucking a year and a half ago? Yeah, this one will like when you grab it, it'll like grab like, you back. Cons- it'll consume you. <laughs> it's Venom. Okay. <laughs> What's his name again? Venom? Eddie. 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 I love you, Eddie. <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> you can you can so customize so it'll tell, it'll say your gamer tag. <laughs> oh, it'll call you a pussy other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just make it that nice. fuck it. Pussy. Venom was um, such a hit. It was actually. Shit. I enjoyed it in spite of myself. I enjoyed it too. <laughs> it was not a good movie though. No. But I enjoyed it. <laughs> the next Fable's announced. That I was actually gonna say, but That'd be I don't. Great. I don't want to get myself too hot. Ho- and it, who do I want? Does it come out next spring? It'll come out. That that is the swan song of the Xbox One. I have a feeling Fable. That's a that's a good prediction. Uh, it's yeah, like so the that, last. That's thing the last itself. big Xbox. I mean, because they're gonna probably get some weird with it. But I think like. Who do you think is developing it? Uh, They'll bring back Peter Molyneux. Yeah, Playground's doing it, yeah. yeah that's they, what, they, that even, was the... they even hinted at it like when, when they were talking about, like, you know, we bought them, and, you know, we have, and Spill Touch obviously couldn't say it, but he's like, we have some big news coming Xbox with them. Xbox so has some really big franchises. I'm going to fuck it. I'll put, Spencer. I'll put next spring. Next spring, we'll see the return of a great franchise. Peter Molyneux. Peter Molyneux. We'll come out on stage and lie to you for two hours. <laughs> yes, yeah, so the grass will grow in real time, and uh, <laughs> Milo will be there with you. <laughs> Milo will ask you how your book report went. <laughs> it's going to be great. <laughs> you can walk checks. around your apartment with Milo. Uh, he'll he'll give we... you live updates of when you should have your prostate checked. Yeah. Do... Stick a finger in your butt and see if it's good. So... Hmm. I want to I wanna, I wanna talk about the Avengers game. Square Enix. And I wanna, if they, they, they don't show it this say, year, fuck them. And I want to say, like, it'll we'll see Spider-Man from the PS4 game. Okay. I'm going to put, cool. put that. I'm down with that. They showed the Avengers Tower in uh, Spider-Man PS4. Avengers game reveal, and it'll have... Uh, it'll tie have, in with Spider-Man? It'll have, the, it'll, have a, it'll have a tie-in, yeah. But that's the thing, then. It, would, it wouldn't have to be exclusive to PS4? I don't think so. Having I him like, be in the I feel like Xbox Marvel, Wonder, I feel so. like I feel like that's a thing where if Sony had to make a deal with uh with that, they could have been like, All right, look, you get the game exclusive on your platform, but we can use Spider Man wherever. I'm sure Sony would have been like, Yeah, okay, that's fine. Okay. And of all people that is gonna have fucking uh negotiation power with Sony, it's probably gonna be Disney. Yeah, sure. They were already negotiating Disney's with them. looking over like, Hey, we'll fucking buy you. They already negotiated yes. with them for uh, homecoming, so and far from home, so even though Sony still technically and, and Home Alone, oh yeah, <laughs> Home Alone. That's, home that's alone. part of the MCU now. Spider Man, no, Spider Man Home Alone. That's the next one. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Home Alone. He's just like, uh, who 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 shows up? Uh, uh, Scorpion and everybody else shows up. To yeah, fuck that, him up. That's, that's he's just like putting traps in the work. Putting traps, yeah. <laughs> he's watching uh some John Wayne western. It's Home Alone. All right, cool. So we're gonna I think do he's that. watching John Wayne. Isn't he yeah. watching John Wayne in Home Alone, David? I don't remember. I don't remember. Yeah, he doesn't remember either. I knew I didn't ask you because you wouldn't remember. Or ever watch it. I don't know. I I'm, I've watched it, but I wouldn't. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember either. He's just he's like watching the John Wayne Western. Alright, so there you go. Let Joe me go back. Let me go back on your points just to show you. Uh David, you had scale balance gonna be on Switch. Project Refan is gonna be shown off in some way. Square will talk about Final Fantasy sixteen. Let's 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 uh Let's elaborate on that because I don't want it to be like them mentioning it and then you're going to get a point for that. 
But that's what's going to happen is they're going to be like, yeah, no, we, we got it. We might get like a tech demo trailer for so, it at most. We'll talk but, about yeah. Final Fantasy 16 with a tech demo trailer. All right. That's fair. Well, then I should say more about the Alien game. Well, that's you already got a lot my, of it. I think that's not going to happen. <laughs> like that's a that's a big maybe. I was just thinking new Alien game because they've been doing a lot of stuff with Alien recently, uh, and they had that Blackout game come out and nobody liked it. So it's okay. No one's like the last few movies they released either. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> I heard the I heard the short films are pretty good though. I'm watching them. All right. Um, and then you got another run. We'll show all the DLC for Combat Pack One, and the new Bioshock we revealed. Gore, you got Sony will have State of Play. Um, do you want to elaborate on that, or do you want to just? Uh, we'll have State of Play during E3. Week? Nintendo conference. I'll say during the actual E3. <laughs> during E3 week. Like, d- during actual E3, not before. How about E3, I'll put E3 week? Yeah. E3 week. Okay. Then you have so Call, du- Call of Duty yeah, reveal, and it'll be a Modern Warfare Four. Uh, sequel, yeah. then it'll be major and you'll have a mobile. major movie actor in it. Uh, new Alien game, single isolation at the Xbox presentation. Beyond Good Evil 2 for 2020. Sounds like a <laughs> sounds like a presidential run. <laughs> <laughs> Beyond Good Evil for 2020. Uh, Coming at you. And then Persona 5 on Switch in October. Yeah, and and it will have Nintendo stuff in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> watch, it's not gonna be October. Watch, it's if not it gonna does happen get out November no, first. It's gonna happen. What? Well, it's gonna happen. November, November 1st, watch. It's cooking, watch. August. Unleash. No, it's Sept- or, uh, yeah, September 30th. Fuck. To watch. Yeah, that'd be some bullshit. I should get at least half a point for that. <laughs> it, you know what? I bet it will be September. I should say September. Yeah. I already put it in. You're committed. And I yeah. just put uh, Microsoft Vibes an old franchise. Bayonetta 3 gets a release date. New, new Splinter Cell game next spring. New Fable gets announced next spring, and then Avengers game reveal, and it'll tie in with Spider-Man on PS4. Okay. All right. And I'll throw in a a, a new prediction: Halo Infinite uh, will have actually be Infinite. Will have a connection with Bioshock Infinite. You guys want to? You guys want it for fun? Just you. You uh, will play as a handyman. I just want for fun. These aren't going to count if they're ever true. But I want you guys to give me two. uh, your your dream weird announcements ones. like weird ones like fuck no. all right well okay how about right. this one weird announcement that i got you one that you think is possible one weird announcement you think is possible and i want two of your like dream like oh you're gonna fucking do a boner blocker like gore did that one time oh yeah i got one <laughs> yeah which i was for beyond good and evil too um one the the like all right i'm sorry one really crazy one and two not so crazy ones i'm sorry well, i was thinking about one, I was say. one crazy one that is totally possible and okay and then two, two, that, two that are like you want it, but it's probably not going to happen ever. Yeah. All right. The one crazy one that I think is possible, not in like not at all throughout the history of time, but I don't think at this E3, uh, I want to see a new Team Eco thing. Mm. Whatever it could possibly be. I don't think it's going to happen this one because, of course, Sony ain't going to be there really. We'll see, maybe. But um, maybe they'll have to be tomorrow. announced tomorrow. Yeah. Because <laughs> they, they, they promised a new reveal. Um, I doubt it, though. But uh, I'm going to say new Team Eco thing. Uh, I'll, I have another think one. You want to think anything for a little bit? Yeah, yeah, I'll think about the other ones. Okay, yeah, I had David, one. I what's your crazy, react, your crazy prediction? My crazy prediction is that Harada will come out on stage it's and be like, guys. We got him, and they reveal Tekken Cross Street Fighter finally. Oh, I thought they were talking about Sama again. <laughs> like, <a little bit. laughs> Guys, we got a Sama in line. Oh, so and, then, and then just footage of a Harada beating the shit out of fucking Osama Bin Laden. Guys, we got him. Been pandemonium, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, Tekken Cross Street Fighter. Oh, that'd be awesome. That, I don't know if that's too far off. It's far it's off that, considering some of the comments he made recently, which we'll get into later. Well, he yeah. could just be saying that to fuck with you. He probably is. All right. It wouldn't announce here's, Tekken here's, Cross a, here's my other crazy one. Hold on. During... Oh, you, got, you got one. No, I already did one, so I got another crazy one. No, you're no. Now it's now you only. Get no, one. I'm, t- I'm talking about like the ridiculous crazy ones. That's not going to happen. Okay, ever. that's different. So the crazy, yeah. the one that's crazy I'm listening is the one that's like totally possible. Okay, all right. But, the T Michael one fits for that, but yeah. I have one that will definitely not happen. I, I uh, like your dream one, yeah. Not really a dream one. I just uh, think that's what I was one. hoping for. But you can uh, say okay. it. Fine. Well, okay, I, you know, what? if this happened, I would be. I I I think it's pretty sweet. Uh, Nintendo Labo brand new set. 
All right, you get it, you take it home, you don't know what it is. Open it, submachine gun. (laughs) Go to town. (laughs) It looks realistic. You could paint it to make it look real. You know what? Tommy gun. Never mind. I take it back. I don't know how they make the I thought, I thought you just opened it to the gun. <laughs> it's just literally a Glock, right? Well, no, but it, the cardboard is so good, it actually works as a gun. <laughs> well, what's your actual dream announcement? No, I don't got one yet. <laughs> I just looked at him and sent the lava. I was like, you know what? That'd be great. <laughs> my, my crazy prediction is there are Halo items in Smash. All right. Well, Master Chief is coming to Smash, so that's probably no. He's not. Uh, yeah, he's not coming. To Smash. Uh, a grunt is in Smash. I see that. A grunt would fit very well with Smash because I could see a grunt being an assist trophy. And I could see Master Chief coming in. Right, and he's not gonna come in. Owning some. some they're not gonna booze. have. They're not gonna have Master Chef when they have Doom Guy coming in. <laughs> They'll both show up. They'll tag team. Oh, oh he'll be his Echo Fighter. I probably said right. that last time. All I right. think you did. Say yeah, that, you actually. did. That's literally <laughs> your whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, David. What, what's a dream announcement of yours? Uh, dream announcement. Uh, Ed Boon comes out on stage. Uh, ono, actually, no, that's right. They replaced Ono. So the guy they got to replace Ono come on stage, and they say Capcom and NetherRealm Studios are working together to bring you Marvel vs. DC. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> All right. Here's my dream. It, it won't happen. At, right now at all because it like the last one just came out but someone from Capcom whether it, with the director or whoever I don't give a shit comes out and says you know what Resident Evil 3 is coming but but they show even a teaser like it's coming next year we've been working on it at the same time as Resident Evil 2 we're fucking with you it's gonna have this like same gameplay and stuff and then at the end they tease Resident Evil 4 remake <laughs> I, I, I was fucking losing 2021. my shit. 2021. I, I lose my fucking shit, dude. <laughs> I just got to buy that. No, like you're saying, you're saying, yeah, yo, you're saying you're saying you're you're apart. Yeah, you're apart. Yo, three years of fucking Resident Evil. God, that'd be amazing. <laughs> but but at the end of the Resident Evil Three trailer, you're like, oh my god, I couldn't believe. And then at the end, you just see Leon walking up to the to the to the house. In, oh, you know in what? The village. No, what they what they would do is they would have a, I mean it wouldn't be as cool as that, but they'd have a little intercom on the bottom with uh, with Liam oh, talking. Oh, what's her name? What's her name? Uh, you, what's her name? Uh, fuck. Hey, what is her name? He, he knows. He knows. What's her name? The president's daughter. No. Oh. No. no what, what, the the the. His wait. contact. Yeah. Oh. Um. Her name. Fuck. Jeff. Never watched team. <laughs> Jeff's always my go-to whenever I can't remember someone's name. Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. Julia. Uh, Ro- Maxim- Rodriguez. Maximilian, dude. Uh, Jer- Jared Fogel. This is Jared It's uh, In- Ingrid Hannigan. Oh, there you go. Hannigan. There you go. He always calls him Hannigan. There you go. I could not remember her name. I knew it wasn't something generic. <laughs> so like All right. Ju- Julie or <laughs> something. Right, so far, so far <laughs> three three of the four things that I've had you guys predict for your crazy or dream things has been Capcom walks on stage. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, no, so, no, no, yo, yet, no, yet Tekken. Sorry. Someone walks on stage. <laughs> <laughs> Someone walks on stage. Well, well yeah, it's just important who stage? reveals it. And Yo, I think Harada coming on stage to reveal fucking Tekken Cross Street Fighter would be the most likely thing. Right. And then I, I can't think of a more better way to reveal Marvel vs. DC than Ed Boon and the new head of Capcom's fighting game division. Be like, yeah, nope, by the way, we're finally giving you guys the crossover you wanted. Marvel vs. DC. <gasps> I just thought of one for Xbox. They go fucking nuts. You're they great. own Minecraft? Minecraft vs. DC. Minecraft vs. <laughs> DC. <laughs> <laughs> all right give me one more give me one more dream one david so we can move on oh wait one more dream one? i got a dream yeah one. i got a big dream yeah a dream yeah all right you go dream. gore <laughs> i got a dream and uh my dream see my boys coming back uh my boys long ago in a ps2 far far away jack and daxter were the shit guess what they ain't no, done just yet shit. They're coming, no, they're coming back. (laughs) 
and they come back in a dumbass PlayStation Move game or some shitty ass Battle Royale game, and or whatever the fucking that, that, was, that was what it was called, right? Battle Royale, PlayStation pa- Battle Royale. Yeah, uh, yeah I'll start, it, I'll start ain't going to be that shit. It's going to be a new game developed by not Naughty Dog because they're working on Last of Us. It's going to be developed by uh, who should develop it? T- uh, Studio Bend. The, the guys that did the order. Because they're not doing anything right now. Like, uh, well, no, Ben Studios already. I know, sure. I know. Oh, they they did announce a new AAA game. You know, what, Ben Studio, fuck it. They did just <laughs> announce they're doing a new uh, AAA game. Yeah, exactly. Is it part of a new franchise though? They said. I don't know. I think they they just said that. Screw it. Whoever, <laughs> whoever's talented, work on it. Jack, I guess Jack Five technically, even though that fourth game sucked ass. All right, David. Last one. Uh, my last dream thing that if they go ahead and in an amazing world, I get exactly what I want. Uh, Atlas will reveal that uh, to go to what Gore's prediction is. Uh, if they do Persona Five on Switch, the way I, I would in my dream world have it is like fuck it, we're bringing all the Personas to Switch, and it's a Persona collection of one, two, 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 three, four, and five all on Switch. And they'll call it. The, the it's not Shimagami Tensei collection. <laughs> <laughs> and then dot 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 punk. <laughs> I was gonna say bitch, but they can't put that on the front cover. <laughs> <It's good. laughs> they can't. They're allowed to do that. No, no, everybody will pick up and go, oh I'm offended and triggered. Can we go on Twitter? Actually no, I'll take that back. Fuck that. Uh my dream is they reveal It's not my dream, you. I guess. No, that would be great. I would still woke up. love that, <gasps> but I got, a br- I got a better dream. Anyway, go ahead. What's your dream? All right. No, my better dream is they either reveal a Digital Devil Saga 3 or a Ride of Kuzanoa 3. <laughs> the fuck you just called me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, talking that shit, man. Yeah, <laughs> if they reveal the a Digital dream. Devil Saga 3 or Ride of Kuzanoa 3, I'd be fucking... Oh, man. I'd punch you both out. Oh, okay. I don't know, man. At least I know what this fuck is. Yeah. If uh... I got, I got a great, I got a great. I one. added this on, so give me one more then, I guess. I want one more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Long-awaited JRPG series is coming back. You know which one I'm talking about, David? Uh, Shining Resonance. No. <laughs> <laughs> Breath of Fire. Oh my it's god. Back. And guess what? It's a Nintendo game again. Oh, that'd be amazing if Capcom they they had the that. Sony the PS1 games and yeah. then the PS2 games. Well, it's yeah, back. Yeah, because it was SNES and then PlayStation. Yep, yeah. first two SNES and then GBA. They had the GBA yeah. versions. That's when I. Oh played. man, if Capcom revealed that. <sighs> and their so Capcom good. thing, but <laughs> I forgot that's Capcom. That's yeah. their Capcom thing. That's no, Capcom. Nintendo owns it this time. I'm gonna say they sold it. Like back right. back door. Uh, speaking, <laughs> speaking of Capcom, one of my dreams is also a Capcom thing. Uh, <laughs> Capcom, you better not fuck this up. <laughs> well, there's a reason. A lot of dreams. I, I'm never, I'm never getting it. But uh, my my dream would be a brand new, or it'd be Beautiful Joe three. Oh, that'd be great. One of the few games that I would fucking freak out over because I I I love fucking Beautiful Joe one and two yeah, so Joe's much, great. dude. Those are like two of my like fucking favorite games ever, and uh. Red Hot Rumble wasn't good, so. No, it wasn't. All right, fuck it. One more. Nope, nope, you're uh, not getting any more. No. I'm not fucking, I'm not letting you. No, I want to keep going. No, Let's go. right, we got we got <laughs> fucking way too much shit. No, yeah, you guys got to talk about New Dark Stalkers. That's all I'm saying. New Dark Stalkers. We didn't talk, about, we didn't talk about Dreams when it first came out, so doesn't, let's talk about Dreams matter. now. <laughs> My next one is okay. both from EA, both complete remasters. Remasters? I'm talking like remasters, yeah. So one is the trilogy. Yeah. I want the whole trilogy. Fucking, yeah, not good there. From, from, With another fucking, new From ending. the ground up, everything's fucking made fucking perfection. Did it look like Mass Effect Andromeda? No, it looked good. Be, no, to be fair, Mass Effect Andromeda <laughs> yeah. did look pretty good. For All the right, my part. second one. What's, what, what, what's the other one from EA? That once they fix the faces. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think of uh, another Dragon EA Age. thing I want? No, I don't give a fuck about no, that. No, no, it's... Uh, it's um. Uh, no, you don't like Dead Space, do you? They're, they're, no, but uh, there's a... Uh, there's a certain game that you and I both love that we didn't quite Wait. get what we wanted out of a, a certain re-release. Don't tell me. It's a EA franchise? Fuck the hell does EA own? They re-released oh, something, uh, and then we were like, that's good. It could it could have been something else, though. Burnout. 
Burnout 3 Burnout Takedown. 3. Oh my god, yes. Completely fucking yeah. looking fucking hot. Okay. Yeah. Ready to go. Well, ready they to... did say they're doing remasters now because of Paradise. So, could happen. Oh, no, but I'm talking like, I, I mean, I get that the Burnout 3 is not going to look like amazing. I'm talking yeah. like, I want it to look like fucking Forza. There's some people that don't like Burnout 3. Some people fucking, fucking also some pe- to like grow up. Some people say Burnout 3 takes them out of it because of the giant, like, sparks and, like, just hidden people and stuff. I'm just like... I I don't like... They they treat it like it's Forza or some shit. (laughs) Revenge revenge is cool, but I think, ironically enough, I think having more freedom and, like, being able to crash behind check cars from the back, I think that didn't make it as fun. Because it was like, it made it so much easier. Because Burnout 3, it was like you had to fucking skirt. You had to get right up on them. All that traffic. If you want anything, you had to skirt in between it. There was no checking everything. Yeah, I had to steer in between a car into one of the guardrail things. Yeah, checking everything just made it way too easy, I think. It was like, it it was, there was an added elegance that you had to fucking add to it when you had to fucking squeeze in between everything. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Paradise. I just, yeah, I, I like Paradise. Paradise is all right, but it just, the problem is that I just don't. So, I want it to be linear. Yeah, it's so open that if you take like a wrong linear. turn anywhere, it just fucks you up. Yeah, That's the fair. racing. Yeah, I don't like that. But I just don't, I don't want a, look at all those content. I'm like, can I just do the same thing over and over again? That's what I like about Burnout. <laughs> it's like doing a lot of those. Uh, uh what were they called again? The Road Rage missions or yeah. whatever. Is that, that's Road what they're called. Great. Yeah, when I about. used to play that all the time. That and of course crash mode. But that I used to play all the time. Yeah, they, they like took out it. crash mode in, in Paradise for uh, Showtime, and Showtime wasn't as cool. No. It wasn't. Um. Then did you you remember that at the beginning when they launched with Burnout uh, Paradise? They also didn't have a, a replay button. Oh, they didn't. No. So if you fucking <laughs> did they did add race, that to that big box thing or whatever? They, they added. Did? They added an update later on. But like, yeah. if you ever did, if you ever got through a race, you'd have to go all the way back. Drive all the way back oh, to restart it. Oh, that I don't remember dumb. that. That was dumb. All right, that was it. Let's go to news. Yes. We got a lot of fucking news articles now. All right, let's go through it quick. No one cares about Persona 5 Royal, David. What do you got to say about it, though? Well, I, did, I thought we talked about that already, though. Well, they actually about... revealed a lot more of the details now, so there's well, two... Wait, 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 wait. Do you even... Yeah, timestamps. Do you want to... Hold on, do you care about details? Because I know you were trying to even avoid even looking at the game before. Well, you, 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 if you just do vague details, I'm fine. What's the time, by the way? Just tell me. Uh, 107. 107, okay. Uh, they revealed yeah, that there'll, there's confirmed two new confidence, and there'll be even more added. The fuck is confidence? The uh, fucking relationship. Oh, allies? Get, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, not your allies in combat. The one that builds up your arcana. I thought they were called something else. I thought they were called something else in Persona 4. I guess they're called something else in this, I guess. Yeah. Social links or whatever they're called? Well, the social link is the mechanic, but they're called confidence. Oh. Was it called uh-huh. something different in Persona 4? Maybe I just forgot. Well, they were just, I think, strictly called social links. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Um, I, I only played, like, like I said, like 10, 15 hours of Persona 5. I even get to the point where it really, like, lets you do anything you want, really. Yeah, so I'm still I'm still doing some of the early stuff, um, and because of this, it's going to cause a lot of the uh, personas to be reorganized. There will be 18 new personas added in. Uh, they're adding in 20 new soundtracks to the game. Wow, uh, that's a lot of stuff. Like yeah, yeah, man, yeah, man. All right, so that was just a quick level of highlights because I know Adrian's tired of talking about persona. I mean, no, I just, I just don't. I mean, David or uh, Gore and I still need to play the game, so I wasn't sure how much we. Yeah, no, no, no. I. Yeah, I wasn't gonna say anything that was gonna go into spoiler territory. So. Yeah, I didn't watch the trailer because I was assuming it would show a lot of stuff. So him. No, because it looks like it's going to be, and they revealed that it's gonna have a super hefty like third semester add on to it. So. Yeah, that, that, I mean that's fun. I, I just don't. I didn't want to watch the trailer for Royal because I was I was hoping because they would figure like everybody was watching this probably already played the original and they just want more. So I thought they were gonna show like not maybe huge moments from Persona Five, but you know like oh this character and, and this character's relationship or something. I, I, yeah, I, no, because it's basically to like how Golden was on Vita. It, it's just the same game with a lot more added in throughout it. Yeah. So yeah, there you go, Persona. Oh, and they did confirm that saves won't carry over, but you will get some kind of bonus if you have a save from uh, base Persona Five. I do. Technically, I didn't beat it, but okay. I do have a save. Um, Harada wants to do Tekken Cross Street Fire, but uh, he needs pass from Capcom again. Yeah, uh, uh, he I don't, knows. Capcom's good guys now. 
I don't yeah, think. He... Go for it. Oh, my apologies. Uh, they need both a pass from Capcom, and he brought up the fact that he's concerned about doing Tekken Cross Street Fighter right now, where Tekken 7 is still very, very popular. He's afraid that if he goes to his higher-ups and be like, yeah, I really want to still do this, they're going to be like, yeah, but we're going to compete with our own game now. Can we not do that? Which, is, that's a legitimate business concern, but... But I'm assuming that means they, they aren't even at work on the game, right? It's been at like 30% completion when they were uh, last finished working on it. So it's kind of a matter of now it's been so long since that contract was originally signed that they have to renew it and probably have to still work on redoing things, especially now that we're going into the next gen of consoles right. here soon. It's going to be, they might have to completely retool everything yeah. anyways. You probably. mentioned that if, Te- if Tekken 7 did well, that he would be interested in doing this, but Tekken, and Tekken 7 is doing fantastic right now. But yeah. and, and I mean, well, it's also got, Tekken it's got 7's older it. now, right? It's also got Akuma in it too, which, which uh, yeah. kind of like get, dips yeah, his toe right. into it a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah. Tekken 7 is old, but I mean, the, the DLC for this one last just came out still. Yeah, and Tekken, Negan, 7, and Tekken 7 has like... Yo, is anybody maining Negan at EVA? Uh, uh, not that I know of. I mean, we'll see. But, I'm um, definitely not watching, man. But, uh, I only watch if someone comes in with Negan. Tekken 7 is still... Adrian, also... going to be maining Negan? Yeah, I, still, I haven't Negan. even played him yet. I'm really upset about it. I heard we'll Negan's play, really fun, we'll, too. We'll play, it, we'll play him soon, though, because I, I have my stick here that I haven't even busted out yet. Um, Wish but I had a stick. there was that... Uh, Expensive. Um... What was I gonna say? I just lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, Tekken Seven is also like still huge at Evo too. So I mean, I, I don't see that game slowing down. Yeah, yeah, so I know. It's still. I well, think it was the only game. Wouldn't you think Street Fighter Cross Tekken would be really a, or Tekken Cross Street Fighter would be a really popular? I, too? I don't think so because of how the bad legacy that that Street Fighter Cross Tekken had. I mean, people are gonna give it the benefit of the doubt of yeah. it being, of it being um, Namco doing it, but I don't think that that legacy is necessarily a thing these days because. I don't understand why everybody hated uh gems fucking suck. The gems, I know gems that. Gems really they, fucked I, up. I thought the, I thought the gameplay was still really good. No, it not, was. Gems legit like changed the game enough that it was like people didn't like okay. it. Okay, I thought Plus, I thought for really Evo they would just like cut that out. DLC. For that Evo, the, for Evo they didn't make it so that you could just not use the gems. They, I were they do a lot of stuff. Important part of the mechanic, and they slowed things down insanely for setup. I didn't play. I just saw the reviews were really good. I was like, "Oh, okay, that got worked out." I mean, I mean, if you like it casually, that's fine. I think I, I, I still think, I still think like the the cutscene trailers for Yeah, Cross Tekken are some of the coolest trailers still to this day. Like I've actually went back and watched them like even last couple months. But um, yeah, I remember some of those. Yeah, those were fucking awesome. But the I mean, before the movie, I mean, before the game actually came out, they yeah, they had like, had, like the, the fights or whatever. Who was the Akuma versus like Jin or someone? It was a, it was uh, Bison against uh, Jin and oh, okay. uh, Ryu versus Kazuya. Uh, Kazuya. So hold on, yeah, it, was, it was Ryu and Ken versus Kazuya yeah. and Nina. It was okay. Ogre Stop versus thinking. Akuma. It was um, Jury and. Uh, M. Bison, Bison versus uh, ooh, uh, uh, Zhao Long or Jin versus Jin and uh, what's what's her name? Nika. Uh, <laughs> yeah. oh, it's like Zhao. Z- I want to say Zhao Yu. I don't know. I don't fucking. Oh, that's play your her name. Zhao Yu. Yeah, that's your name. <laughs> <laughs> no, and it's, uh, I forget the girl that's always hanging out with him. And then it had um. Uh, some... Bob versus uh, the fatty from Street Fighter. Uh, <laughs> fatty from Street Fighter. Rufus. There we go. Bob yeah, versus Rufus. Go. And then uh, there was one other one in there. They had the wrestlers. Yep. Uh, Zangief and uh, King. And then that was also what revealed Poison and Hugo and yeah, God, Cody it, and it Guy. So those those videos are so good. Um. Yeah, there's a good video on YouTube of someone breaking down exactly why, why it's so bad, and man, it's it's games always with the timeout because of of gems. Yeah. Uh, people, I oh mean, it was it was so campy. It was such a campy game. It sucks because that was legit the only fighting game that I ever was like super like fucking a hundred percent on board with. But uh, without the gems, it was mechanically such a sound game. If they yeah they, they, the gems they just did away with it and just rebalanced everything, it would have been fucking awesome. But they didn't. And then they updated it. By the time they updated it, it was, like, too far gone. Um, so here's a quick one. Devil May Cry 1 on Switch. Yeah. Yeah. 
you know what they're gonna do all right capcom has been good guy capcom for a little bit and then Dante but uh, when it comes to their ports they could be uh shithead capcoms because i mean resident evil 4 and and uh Dude, what, what else can i interrupt you and for a second or, yeah god i will buy resident evil 4 on every console for the rest of my life I'm not spending thirty dollars on Resident Evil. 4 yeah, now. that's a and you know bet. what? You know how much Devil May Cry One's gonna be when it comes to Switch? Thirty bucks. It's gonna be thirty dollars, and and you know what doesn't hold up that well? Thirty dollars. <laughs> Devil May Cry One is one. Because <laughs> especially where it's not even the HD version, it is the just HD the version's like twenty dollars right now. You can get all three of them on Xbox. Yep. And you can't I'll... take you on the go, but I don't know why the fuck you'd ever play Devil May Cry on the go unless you want to be really pissed in public, <laughs> like. The speculation is they're just quickly pushing it out on a Switch so they can put Dante in uh, Smash Brothers. So that way they can be like, see, he's on fucking yeah, Nintendo. Yeah, but you don't, need, you don't need to because Joker wasn't even on it until fucking Scramble. But if that was true, then why not, why not put all three of them on Switch for 30 bucks? They would sell well. People would like you know that. Because people would buy it at 30 <laughs> they will, but more people would buy it if it was all three. It, it and would, they, if they don't, if they don't care though, it, like D- David's saying, they just want to put uh, Dante on on Smash. Then why not just put all three of them? Say fuck it, thirty bucks, maybe even forty. Um, because and, why spend the money to develop three games well, for Switch when you can develop one? Develop well, no, but like, like th- 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 I mean, I know it's hard. Th- but, think of it from the from the money standpoint money. too. Is that you're getting three for thirty? Or they separate one part of it out and then make that exact same amount of money. And yeah, it'll be less sales. But then they, you know what? Then they put out the ones that you want on there. They'll put out Devil May Cry 3 on there. Then you get 90 two. bucks. Yeah, they just skip two. I hope they just oh, I was going to say, yeah, you'll get 60 bucks. Yeah, but... because they, yeah, because if they, yeah, you get 60 bucks. Because no one's buying Devil May Cry 2 because that game sucks the big wang. But uh, I didn't, I don't remember hating it as a kid, though. But I'm, I'm going by. What everybody talks about. Now. How much did you spend? I remember. On? I remember playing Devil May Cry two, thinking I was really good at Devil May Cry. <laughs> that game was fucking super easy. <laughs> I was like, uh, I just thought I was really good. I was like, oh, Devil May Cry one kicked my fucking ass, but this one's easy. I was like, yeah, that's just because it's an easy game. <laughs> Devil May Cry three is great though. I never played Devil May Cry four though. Four is pretty good. You know, it's Devil May Cry four came out the worst time again. It was like Halo three was like my life that year, <laughs> and the year after that. Uh, I was still new. I was just like, I ain't playing anything else besides like Halo 3 and maybe a few select games. We still need to finish five. That's on my list. Uh, uh, I'll probably, I'll probably start something else. I'm going to start some big game this week, too. Yeah, Devil um, May Cry 5. I'm almost done with Days Gone. I really want to go to Devil May Cry 5, but uh, right. yeah, I <laughs> fucked up. But uh, <laughs> Rage, 2 comes, <laughs> Rage 2 comes out next week. So uh, Are there reviews out for Rage 2 yet? Because I'm thinking about getting No, it. but it looks really good, so. I have, I have a five dollar off on at Best Buy, and then uh, they also do, so, they do the pre order thing with Best Buy too, where you get ten dollars off if you pre order it. It looks really good, but I'm scared because their last couple games haven't been good. So the developers, so they made that Generation Zero game, they made Just Cause Four. So I'm a little scared, but uh, we'll see. Well, this this has to be the the A team though, right? Yeah, right, because it's Bethesda too, publishing it. The other ones were just published by themselves, I think. Um, actually, no, that's not true. Just Cause 4 was published by Square Enix. But that doesn't mean anything. They published fucking Quiet Man. So. And they showed it off. Did they also published Fallout 76, Bethesda. So. They well, developed I, I, Fallout I wonder when, when, When's the review embargo lift on that? I don't know. <laughs> now I'm worried. <laughs> I'm well, going to say probably I'm, like Friday. I'm going to wait for I, reviews I, on that. You know what? I'd say probably Monday. Because a lot of game reviews don't come out until the day before. Like, Days Gone didn't come out day, until the day before. Rightfully so, though. Yeah, I mean, hey, hey if Rage 2 gets, like, 7s, I'll be like, all right. Yeah, I'll play I it. Uh... I, like a, I like a good 7. Yeah, you are, the king, of, you seven. are the, you are the king of 7s. Yeah, I don't know what that means. but uh... you, like your seven. you like your 7s a lot more than you like your 8s sometimes. That, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I do like a good seven. You know, not too good, not too bad, just just right, perfect. Sometimes, sometimes a six is needed too, like Crackdown Three. It's just like that's a that's a perfect game. Get it out of my mind. Play a podcast in the background. You know I, what? Do I don't something. like no, I don't like fucking nines. I'll leave I'll leave Devil May Cry Five there for a while. Fuck nine it. sucks dick. <laughs> oh, it's good. Just, Ooh. Oh, oh, it's so good. I don't need to play it. That's why how good it is. <laughs> um. All right. I don't need my mind blown right now. What the fuck? Like, okay, so hold on. First off, okay, I'm gonna read the one that I don't really give a shit about. I guess it's not, not, not in a bad yeah, way, but it would be a David one. <laughs> well, no, no, well, it's still you'll like it. The problem is because I, I picked the bigger stuff. That's why. So you, you picked some really weird, obscure stuff. Uh, there was an Ash vs. Evil Dead 
potential leak for uh, Mortal Kombat 11. That oh, apparently... well, you know, he is he is coming to Days... Uh, day, what is it called? Day-Z? Not Days Gone. Day, no, the other one. Dead by Daylight. So, as a survivor, so... Yeah, so yeah, that might be fake because I guess someone responded I, to it. You know what? I don't want that because I don't want to. I don't want to murder Ash. I don't want. Well, to do what it. happened was uh, it was believed. Uh, I think we even talked about this on one of the first couple episodes uh, that someone had already leaked the planned DLC for Mortal Kombat 11, which included like Wait, food. No, 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 no! Don't, don't, don't tell me. Nope. Don't tell me. Is Ash one of them? Yes. Okay. Don't tell me anymore. All right. <laughs> so uh, Ash well, I mean, they, but they just leaks. said it might be fake, though, right? Uh, could be he's fake. he's posted a very elaborate picture basically like no i'm definitely not revised my role as ash for uh being in mortal kombat 11 he which is granted, for does, dead by daylight which is weird which i think that's still not really relevant for two reasons one they could just have someone else playing ash which granted would be sacrilege if it's his version of ash but they we did, do uh, have two versions of ash we they do did, have the they did from uh, the telltale poker game so yeah that that's thing? true yeah, and he was pretty good, whoever voiced him. But uh, there is still the female version of Ash from the other timeline. So they could even go ahead and just to get more female characters in the game, do the female Ash Williams. Right. Well, I mean, his name is Ashley Williams, so, which exactly. is which is where they got the name for the character from Mass Effect. Um, I, don't, I don't know why, side, but they did. Side note. <laughs> they did, like straight up side took note. his name. The embargo releases for Rage 2 on Monday at 5 a.m. Pacific. That's what I figure now. That's that's a little worrying. But to be fair, there's been great games that have had like embargoes lift the day before. Well, but that's so. usually like that, right? Didn't they do the same thing with Doom? They did the same thing with Doom, and Doom was great. So All, All right. of it was great. And then the uh, last thing of David's that he posted individually was uh, uh, they're requiring for BlizzCon that you need to have your phone with you for a ticket. Which yeah, so that's more, that's more ironic. Funny. Do that. Why would they do that? So no, it's even worse than that. So if you go to the event, uh, what they're trying, what they mandate you want to use is the AXS app. The problem is that that's already been found to have a lot of kind of uh, spyware components built into that app for a lot of geolocation shit and taking a lot of contact information from your phone and all these other things. And their initial statement was. Even if you give us proof of purchase, you can't get in unless you have that app active in, on your phone. And because of the amount of backlash, they finally said, well, we might be able to help you at the service desk, but it's going to be really slow. And we're not going to dedicate a lot of manpower to it. So just use that app anyways. So oh, what people so, do with it again? It's, it's spyware. Ah, it I've, has, used it, I've used it before for my, my contra tickets. It's because of the fact that it has a lot of stuff that is concerning from a security perspective. A ticketing app doesn't need access to your fucking GPS location. It doesn't need access to your contacts. There's a lot of things it asks permissions for that an app like that has no reason to ask permissions for. So no doubt there's doing data mining to sell it to other companies. Wasn't it was Blizzard the ones that wanted to know if you were having sex or whatever also or is that a different that was company? Activision. Well, I guess that was Activision. Yeah. Okay. Well, it is yeah. it's technically, right? No. Yeah. Um, I, I just not, think it's I Blizzard. think it's a... I thought it was also Blizzard though. I thought that was like part of no. like one of the Okay. Well, maybe I don't know. We never looked into it, but I just think it's just ironic because that's funny cuz that's the idea. Uh, the But you think that, Activision's that... the one that's doing it though? From no, BlizzCon? I know I'm saying and making funny. you have to have a phone. It, it's, no, it's just funny cuz uh cuz BlizzCon's also the one where it's like, "Don't you have phones? Everyone has a phone." <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. yep, yep. What? I sure hope so for that next year. Fucking tone <laughs> deaf response to fucking Diablo Mortal. God damn, I'm still I still rage about that every day. And I God. find it even funnier that supposedly the rumor was that they were gonna show Diablo four like a teaser or some shit. Uh, but then they but they they heard the bad backlash they got for Immortal immediately, and they were like, you know what, maybe not. Which I don't I don't I don't think that's. I don't see that as being no like it, a, it, a real room like actually no I can't see that being real because no, you don't end you would show your, it so so people would stop booing <laughs> you don't end a fucking BlizzCon with a goddamn mobile phone game reveal you yeah. would end it with a fucking oh and by the way here's uh what you really want Diablo for well that's right that was that's they did they that happened. with that they did that Bethesda 
Remember when they saw Elder Scrolls Blades and and, and they're like, yeah, "This is really cool, guys!" Right? Like for ten minutes, Todd Howard's messing around on the phone, like, "Oh, look at this! Oh, that's cool too!" And then at the end, they're like, "Yeah, guess what? Boom! Elder Scrolls Six. It's coming." That's pretty much what BlizzCon should have done, but yeah. well, they meant they meant to. That's what I was hearing. I know that. That's why I heard. That's the rumor, though. Or is I mean, that I, what I, one I guy? Would believe, I'd BlizzCon. believe it hundred percent. I I believe it, but I also don't at the same time because like why would you not show it like, exactly? Especially like, after it, people it, are it, it, the, problem, the problem is it's not happening for a while because they're still they're having to reboot it again. That's fine, but at least announce that it's coming so people will stop booing. Yeah, you. but it and I and I agree. I agree. I, yeah. I just I just I understand why they don't because it's it's just a, it's like all right well where is it 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 it's like that that, that I, that's the issue with people have when we have, when we just announce too much shit too early and it sucks but, I mean, but like I guess people people get upset at it but at the same time too I'm just like and and I get I get why it has some upset on that whole end but like one part one part of it is like we know it's happening like we know Diablo four is happening so like relax like there's no way there's no future where there's no diablo 4 whatsoever they're gonna actually do diablo 4 so i don't know why people are freaking out about it. like it's like is it like oh there's never gonna be diablo, it's, it's gonna be diablo 4 it's gonna happen 100 percent um I, but I, I understand the other backlash but same time too phones have a huge market now so people, and we've people gotten to the point where dead Blizzard cells coming got... on phones yeah, well, we got to the point where uh, Blizzard has done a, a game with a three in it, so they're already better at Valve. Yeah, fuck um, out here, Valve. Yeah, because Warcraft, oh, yeah, there was a Warcraft three, wasn't there? Yeah, and okay. that was the last yeah. time Warcraft yeah. was good. Yeah, so they have to do a four. That's their curse, right? Yeah. Has there been a four? I guess World of Warcraft no. is technically four. No, right? it's not a four. That well, it is Warcraft. Warcraft though. Yeah, I know that's what you just said, but World I, it, that's tech- World of Warcraft four. World of Warcraft. <laughs> A world of Warcraft. World of oh Fortnite. my God, that'd be like fan fan. I mean, the, the slogan is for the whores. So you know exactly. That's where the number for, four comes. For the the D A hordes. For the hordes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. All right, fuck it. Uh, so we had a 200 person walkout from Riot recently. Yeah. Yeah, with the sexual uh, harassment lawsuits that are going on over at Riot, uh, apparently there was a lot of extra backlash because, and from it, someone that comes from a slight HR background, oh, and more HR Jason, I find it interesting that apparently it was very common practice for a lot of companies over in California to have arbitration clauses when people sign up with the company that if they have any matters that would go to legal, they have to do it through arbitration, which I know a lot of states are making that a no-no. I think that Utah has made that a big thing where that can't happen anymore. I'm pretty sure Massachusetts made that a thing where that just can't happen anymore. It's just not allowed. Um, but it's one of those things that they – acknowledge that yeah that's kind of a problem maybe our new employees going forward don't have to do that and then down the road we'll think about releasing that for you guys and because of that 200 employees just completely walked out from the company just like no fuck it we're protesting this you guys are just getting out of hand with this right it's also the first big protest among uh video game company uh not the first uh there was well among a video game specific company, yes, but Google had a similar thing happen to them where like 2,000 of their employees globally did a walkout on them for similar issues. Right, but just for video games though. Yeah, for just video game specific, I think this would be the largest one. Right. Um, so, yeah, no, that, I mean, that it, it's, it's, the way they went about it was like, they were like, did you, did you read the, uh, the, uh, the document they sent out to the employees? I skimmed through it. Uh, it felt like rather accommodating, which I mean, I get on one hand, but then it felt weird because it's like, it, it felt weird being accommodating towards a protest, you know? It's one of those things that they kind of... You have to, but it feels You weird, have right? to. But it's also one of those things that you. it's not only something that from an HR standpoint they really need to do, but also from a PR standpoint... You basically went ahead and you drove 200 of your employees, and especially the only thing that your company does is one thing, League of Legends, and that League of Legends game already has a lot of kind of terrible, terrible backlash to it in the past with some of the 
things that have happened before. And now you're having 200 employees walk out on you over sexual harassment allegations. Uh, there's, it's just kind of the perfect storm of riot could be in some legitimate trouble down the road. It's one of those things that between the PR nightmare league of legends, definitely still kind of struggling as an MMO or as a MOBA rather. Uh, and even the MOBA genre as a whole seems to be kind of struggling. It could be one of those things that maybe riot putting all their eggs in the one basket of the genre has finally kind of run its course. And with all the employee issues, it's just going to be the final nail in the coffin. I know they were talking about doing their own fighting game at one point, but I don't think anything's even come of that. Right. So is League of Legends not doing good? Like it's definitely not pulling the numbers it used to. And honestly, MOBAs as a whole are definitely not doing anywhere <sighs> near what they used to. I think even like Dota 2's numbers have been going down significantly. Um, it's just the Fortnite. Yeah, basically it, it's just the shifting of consciousness you know mobas were a massive popular thing once they became their own dedicated uh, game drawn outside of map modifications and now that Fortnite and uh player knowns battleground have become the next hot thing and every game company is trying to throw a similar mode into their own games no one really cares about the genre and when you have a lot of that kind of tank it's like all right you have these companies that they only do the one thing and the one thing they do is that MOBA and the entire genre starting to tank, you're kind of losing a lot on returns, and especially where they're owned by, I believe it is Tencent um, now, that it's just kind of like, where else do they go from here? Right. Hmm. I don't know. I haven't I haven't kept up with uh, Lee ever, but it's always it's always interesting landscape, though, for sure. Yeah, I used to play the game competitively up until the end of season three, and then I kind of fell out with it because they were doing a lot of changes to the support characters. I was like, As these classes are not worth fucking playing anymore. And uh, where I'm always a support main, it's like, nah, I'm done. Uh, so I keep an eye to the, you know, I keep an eye on things just from, like I said, because I'm working in an HR adjacent field. Uh, things like this always catch my eye for a just business information uh but it's also just kind of interesting to see that like you said this is like the largest kind of walkout of a game company specific uh company so it's interesting to see something like this happen right um <clears throat> you're more of the pr yeah. person though, so that's kind of one that's why i kind of want to pitch that towards you to see what you had to say because um it sucks that companies aren't like some companies just don't seem to get it <laughs> it kind of sucks. yeah it's always in the video game field where it seems to happen but uh, speaking of people that don't get it, fucking Randy Pitchford needs to stop. That's all I wrote. In Holy my, uh... shit! Why, man? What do you, what do? You do? <laughs> have, uh, you not recently, so have you not kept up recently, or do you know? What no, you I, no, I have. <laughs> that's, all I, that's all I wrote in my 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 news article notes. Is Randy Pitchford needs to stop? Yeah, he, he fucking went up to clap trap. And he's like, you want to see a fucking oh, match oh. trick, little boy? And he pulled out a deck of cards and just fucking hit him in the face and walked on yeah, off. He gave him a uh, uh, what would he give him to make him fired? Get out. Yeah. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Perfect impersonation. Hey, I'm Randy Pitchford. I don't I don't remember how he sounds like. <laughs> hey, I'm uh hey, wait, no, I, I heard him once before. In that in the Yeah, Borderlands. doing the magic trick, yeah. I was watching that Borderlands three thing. I, I, I did watch that, yeah. But I, they they just did a Borderlands three reveal thing, which I, I don't know if we want to talk about that, but uh Yeah. Yeah. He seems weird in that, even like I don't know. There, there's something weird about Randy Pitchford that seems unhinged. Like, he, like any moment he could just be unhinged and just fucking lose his mind. <laughs> he already seems very unhinged. I mean, the dude went ahead going after game journalists for being like, "Ah, you can't say I put microtransactions in these games. There's no microtransactions," despite the fact there's a bunch of you know one dollar skins that basically literally quantifies that as being a microtransaction. Uh, then going ahead and it's being revealed that there was conflicts over claptraps voice actor yeah. who was one of the former Dave vice Ebbing? presidents yeah uh saying like oh all i wanted was just the royalties you owed me and to apologize for you know fucking punching me at uh gdc 2017 uh which if that's to believe that's fucking fascinating um, you punched them? yeah <laughs> you to yo, yo aliens cloning marine sucked punch <laughs> borderlands uh, 2 isn't as good as borderland 1 punch <laughs> and, uh, it, a bad it's, idea. It's, it's wild how terrible of a. It's funny because we were talking about him recently. He's like he's he's got a charismatic look to him, but like he does. You need to like Especially kick away earlier. his phone. Now he's kind of like 
He's got like the head of a potato now. But before he, I always looked at him. I was like, you know what? That guy looks like someone you would trust, not like a Peter Molyneux. Just like someone like, if he says this game's going to be good, it's going to be good. And then Duke Nukem Forever came out, and Aliens Colonial Marines came out, and Battleborn came out. I know Fuck you, you like that it. game is I know, good. It just came out the worst possible time. Battleborn's not great, though. So, it's good, though. Yeah, it's fine. But they were saying, like, it's going to be my best game you play. Watch Overwatch. We're coming for that ass. <laughs> and like it went straight into the bargain bin's ass. Um <laughs> And Borderlands is their crowning achievement. That's their their big thing. That and like the Halo One uh, PC, <laughs> um, the PC port. Yeah, PC port. That was it. That was like that's all they have, in my opinion. I that's all they have that's of any worth is Borderlands. And Borderlands Three is coming. That's great. But I don't know why it took them seven years for Borderlands Three. Like I get they also had the pre sequel in twenty fourteen, but. That's just a that's like that's like working years of war judgment. You know, we don't really count that because because they were working on Battleborn too, and then they decided to scrap and say, "Why are we wasting our time on this? Or we should just do more Borderlands." Yeah, the, if they were working on Battleborn too, then Randy needs to really go, <laughs> like for sure. Like you, you could say what you want about him being crazy, but it, B- Borderlands is is a good series, and he's had a big hand in that. Like Duke Nukem, I get, Nukem, I get like, why Duke Nukem and Aliens, he didn't really have a big hand in. I get why they need to branch out though, because they can't. I, I feel like relying on Borderlands is a little bit of a. I know, but look what happened when they branched out. No, I know, but it's, they also <laughs> didn't do well in general. It's like, yeah, no. but even so, I'm just worried, just not necessarily for like. I don't think Gearbox is. Hey, I mean, Borderlands Three ends up selling, not poorly, but it, it's underwhelming. You know, like. I don't sell the Target or whatever. I have a feeling Gearbox is going to be in trouble. I'm also think... surprised they haven't even tried to do like the Handsome Collection on Switch. Right? That would, that would do well. Especially but at least Borderlands 1 or 2 on Switch. If they're going to do the, the Capcom approach. Um, sell one at a time. But I guess they would have to do Borderlands 1 separate because that's not part of the Handsome Collection. But uh, yeah, I, I just, I don't know. He's crazy. He says some weird shit. Uh, and Does some weird shit. He's sweaty. Like every time I see him on a stage, he's he's he looks like he's dying. <laughs> like he's just like it's too hot up there. So I'm getting a fan. Um, but I don't know. I, I I don't see him as like at least he doesn't come off like one of those EA presenters where they look like they have like the the maniacal like they got the, like the Mr. Burns thing going on. You know, <laughs> like we well, you know it's looking funny evil. Is, is, is those maniacal people have a better track record than Randy Pitchford right now? So that, that's that's true. But they're maniacal. Yeah. I, I don't trust them just because they come out. Our stocks are really high. I'm like I don't <laughs> the fuck. I want to talk about video games, bro. Let me tell <laughs> you how we ruined Command and Conquer with this mobile <laughs> phone game, dude. I was watching Easy Allies. Hi, uh, shout out, um, because I love Easy Allies. Uh, but I was watching their reaction to that, and there's a huge Command and Conquer fan, a part of them, uh, a part of the group, and he's just like, he, right when they showed it, he was immediately just like, "This is Command and Conquer," because that year. <laughs> A year before that, he was like, if they show Command & Conquer, it's probably going to be a mobile phone uh, game. And then a year later, they show it as a mobile phone game. And he's just like, oh, my God, it's Command & Conquer. It took them 10 minutes to announce it was Command & Conquer 2, which was even worse. It's Man, like, a, a Command & Conquer Renegade 2 would have been a better gift to the fucking community than a goddamn shooter, mobile right? phone game. Yeah, that's the shooter. Yeah, I played that one on the PC, I think, a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that would be better, actually, because, you know... These mobile games, a lot of them just look at, uh, very samey. <laughs> and you know what? You can say what you want. Yes, mobile mobile is a big market, especially in foreign markets like uh, the Asian regions. Yeah. But it's one of those things that, at the end of the day, it's great for the casual market. It's great for getting money. But that's not what these games got their foundation built on. Right. Yeah, even the console ports for the Command & Conquer games, no one gives a shit about them. Yeah, they're neat little oddities, but who gives a fuck? What people want is a full-featured fucking PC release of a brand new Command & Conquer. Or hell, even go ahead and give us it like an HD remake of, oh, oh man, that would be phenomenal. They'll fuck but, it up, just like they fucked up Sin City. So. Don't say that. <laughs> Anyway, but, oh, um, that just hurt my heart when you said that. Yeah. Speaking of maniacal, uh, EA. I, I, I just want. I just want. Yeah. Okay. I just. I just want to say Randy Pitchford. He's a. He's a weird one, but I don't. I don't ever look at him and immediately go. He's gonna. He's gonna like. 
you lie to do me. It. Even even though he lies, for some reason I look at him just like I don't know. I, I, I he has good stage presence. That's all I'll say. Sure, I think they that, call that, it that, Stockholm that, that syndrome. Is, but, but he, yeah, he has Stockholm terrible, syndrome. <laughs> he has terrible fucking PR for himself. Yeah, um, and also, also, I guess he's a dick. I don't know. EA but, Access is on PS4. I don't want to immediately call him a dick because one guy came out and said. He's well, he's dick. got a lot of reasons to be called a dick. Oh yeah, but they, I'm talking about like recent news with Dave Ebbing coming out. Like, I don't know who he is. I mean, I I like him as Claptrap. I don't know who he is. All right. I don't know who Randy is either. So I, I can't just immediately say like that guy's a dick. He has a bad track record. You said no, so. I, I know, but he's also the head of Gearbox, and also he's lied countless times about games. So yeah, you're right. I'm just saying. He's yeah. turning into like the alpha Peter. He's Mollett. the face of Gearbox. So. Yeah. All right, moving on. And uh, I'm sure he's done nice things too. <laughs> let, let's let's I'm move sure, on. I'm sure. I'm sure he's that. done at least one. All right, we're moving on. EA Access on PS4. Yeah, so that's know. finally happened after I don't know how long it took. Who gives a shit? Moving and, on. Uh, well, I mean, it's 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 funny. <laughs> wait, it, it, wait, it's never been on PS4 before. No, you don't remember what happened. Uh, no, there I don't care a, either. Uh, there was a um, when 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 EA was pitching over to PlayStation. They made like act like places were like, nah, we don't want that. And the, and uh, Sony went up and even said like, oh, what was their quote? And I'm I'm paraphrasing, but it was it's something like, or something. we like, feel no, like uh, we feel like PS PS Plus provides an excellent value to the customers, and we just don't feel like EA Access provides any any uh, what was it? EA Access doesn't provide meaningful? any any uh substantial incentive. substantial like. Uh, value substantial value to the customers, so we decided not to allow it on our platform. Yeah, Microsoft's like, we'll take it, fuck it. That's the only, yeah, <laughs> be like five dollars a month for like ten games. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's well, like, well, you know, that's well, like something we're cooking up. You, you know, better. you know what the the reason was is because Sony had fucking PS Now, and they didn't want it to compete with that, and so they didn't yeah. allow it. But they wanted to do funny. that. Was that was when Sony was adding their their when they had their PSVR, what what or the PRBS, where it was like yeah. PSVR. Uh, when sure. when uh, when uh, like they said, like you know, we don't allow cr- crossplay because you know we we think our network is safe and we don't like to allow uh other networks to have it on there. And Nintendo's like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Sony's weird. Is <laughs> Sony? Because it could be. It, it, it's like I feel like it switches every year. Like they're the good guys and then they're the bad guys. Then they're they, the good they guys. They haven't and they're the bad had guys. good PR in a long time. The problem is yeah. that they have such fucking killer games and like a solid yeah. platform right now that they're okay with it. But man, like Microsoft is just like chomping at the bit to be like just fucking to fuck up a little bit more. Come on, guys, just fuck up just a little bit more. Yeah, we're gonna bang you in your asses this E3. But uh, thankfully, <laughs> that's yeah, what Phil Spencer said. So. Th- thankfully, Sony kind of. <laughs> Is relaxing on it, just like the fucking the fucking crossplay, just because they keep backtracking just in time for everything. Yeah, but that's the thing. You know what's really annoying is that you know how Xbox did the thing with in 2013, where like, oh, you have to you have to buy a game new and stuff, and and oh, Xbox, it's five hundred dollars. People made fun of it for like, yeah, you know, they're still making fun of the Xbox One for that reveal. I don't think they were ever recovered. I, but people will stop, like, people, like, the fanboys out there will stop talking about Sony once they fix their problems, you know? Like, Fortnite and all that stuff. Which, uh, yeah, you could say the same thing about Xbox, but I don't look for this shit. I find Sony fanboys just, like, lurking out of the dust. Like, just, like, I don't know where I'll just see one talking. I'm like, who the hell is I don't even follow fanboys of anything. I just find them. They're always everywhere. Just, like... I get it. This, PlayStation is a bigger console, obviously. That's why. But like, still, like, I don't even look for it. I always find like people like, oh, look, oh, it's only uh, days gone. Oh, they got six and seven. Metal Kirk's bullshit. Uh, but then Crackdown gets the same scores. It's like, lol, look at that. Uh, it's got the same scores as, as the as the Super Lucky's Tale and Recore and all those other games. I don't know. It's just. I'm ranting. I forgot Recore is a thing. <laughs> Are we ever gonna go an episode without you bringing up Super Lucky Tale? <laughs> No, <laughs> great game. But um, no, I, actually, I played it. I didn't like it. No, I, 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 I'm, I'm glad whenever platforms are able to walk their their, their idea back. So it's nice that yeah, X is on it. Uh, it sucks that that the Xbox subscription doesn't carry over to the PS4 though. Oh, it doesn't. Mm-hmm. That'd have been nice. I would have liked that. But 
don't they have the same thing on PC? Does that not carry over from Xbox no, to PC? No, because that's EA Origin Access, and it's different because um, it's got a bunch of PC stuff on it. But the PC and the PS4, those don't connect either? No. Or did it? Did it? No? EA, the, the PC one's called EA Origin Access. I thought PS4 was called that also. No, the PS4 is EA Access. Oh, they said Origins. No. Okay. Origins, they is, Origins. No, yeah. Origins the the marketplace. Yeah, the service, I know. Yeah. But no, so I don't know how it works on PS4. I don't, it, I don't know. It works the exact same as Xbox. It just has less because there's no backwards compatibility on PS4. But also, okay. it doesn't cry. You can't. Your subscription on Xbox does not carry over PS4. I just say I find it funny Sony would say that. I mean, I, I get it because they don't. They wanted their PS Now service. I get it, but uh, I, for them to even say that it's not a good deal. Like of the all the things EA has ever done in this generation. I think EA Access is easily the best thing they've ever they've done. Just like you get to play their games ten like for ten hours before they come out. It's only five dollars a month too. Like if you really want to play, see if uh, I don't know the next Madden's good or whatever. Five dollars you can play that for ten hours, and you can play the whole game. I think right for ten hours early too. So I don't know. And I, I like EA Access. I mean, I, I, EA Access I, is good, and you get to play Dead Space. I mean, yeah. they killed Dead Space, but still, you get to play it, you know, free. And not really, $5 a month, I'm but whatever. To the, the, I'm, I'm really excited to do the trilogy one day. Yeah, Dead Space is, well, okay, you can just play the first two. Uh, I'll, yeah, play the I'll, play I'll, I'll play the third one. I'll play the third one. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. The third one's fun, but it's, it's not. I know it's, it's an action close, game. Good. That's fine. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Dude, fine. they do some Michael Bay shit in that game. Yeah, we, just, we played the demo, I think, right? I think we and I played the demo. I guess we did. I don't know. I remember, because you wanted to do the elevator shaft, right? I think that was part of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I know, I, I, it I started did. off on the, uh, the uh, like, it was snowing or whatever. Yeah, I know that. So I, I know I played it with someone. I forget who. Maybe. Uh, mm-hmm. All right. Could have. So then there's that. There's uh, that. Speaking of EA, Dragon Age is Bioware's next big focus, apparently. Which, I mean, I, I hope, because Anthem fucked up. Yeah. Their last two games fucked up. Speaking of, uh, you have it on mute. Uh, speaking of, of uh, Command & Conquer... <laughs> Um, they were supposed to do a, a Command and Conquer game. That didn't happen. Remember, Bioware was supposed to do a Command and Conquer game. Um, stuff. I, I feel like Bioware needs to be like do Not some. Owned by some, EA. Yeah, they need to do some freaking uh, um, uh, bungee shit and just get the get away from EA. Even be bought by someone else a little bit more capable of dealing with Bioware. Like, I just I hate it. Bioware, Bioware is so good. together to free themselves from their corporate overlords and combine create a bind studio. When did they buy Bioware? Ages ago. Yeah. Dragon they, ages ago. Um, was were they bought? Kotor was a uh, Lucas Arts, obviously, but Lucas Arts wasn't any had nothing to do with EA, right? I don't think so. Okay, and like I want I want Bioware from the old days back. Like Jade Empire, I'll take Jade oh Empire. Oh my god, a Jade any Empire any day over fucking phenomenal. Yeah, Jade Empire is great. I take Jade Empire over Anthem any day. Even if great. Anthem ended up being great, I'd still take Jade Empire over Anthem. Fucking, that's such an underappreciated game. Yeah, that's a great game. Kotor, my jam. I haven't played that in years. I would love to go back to it. It's on Xbox now, so backwards compatible. I don't but, know uh, in the day to do any of this shit that we keep wanting to do. I know that's the problem. <laughs> and Kotor has probably aged very. Not poorly, but it's probably aged, you know, considerably compared to like, old game has aged. Fucking yeah. news at eleven. I, you know, Beyond Good Evil One, I could play any day, and yeah, that'll still be a great game. Just saying, that came out the same year. I remember because that was a good year. <laughs> so that was a good year for for young young boy gore. <laughs> good, yeah, good ass Star Wars game. I got a, a Beyond Good and Evil, which I didn't even know about until Judgment Day talked about it in G four. Um. And X Play talked about. It. I was like, "Yo, I need to play this X Play." They gave it a five out of five. I was like, "Yo!" And it was like twenty bucks when I heard about it. I was like, "I need to get it." Anyway, what were we actually talking about before this? <laughs> uh, Bio- Dragon Age Bioware's next next focus. Just run Bioware. Run. Just take Game is shit. gonna be unsuccessful. Fucking news at eleven. Just run. I guess Dragon Age Inquisition was pretty good, right? In spite of itself, yeah. Just run Bioware. Take your shit, like don't look do, like, back. Some stuff. Yeah, to do some Looney Tunes stuff, like cut yourself out of EA and like push yourself away from it. They always keep saying they're gonna be different this time, but they never are. Yeah. Nah. This time we really learned from the fans. Is you know, that one British dude, Andrew Wilson or Andrew House? 
No, Andrew uh, House is Sony. Andrew uh, Wilson's the guy from EA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a he's like, president. I think he's British, and he's just like, we took, we took all of the 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 negative press, and we built upon it through all this press. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> he's like like saying all those things you hated, we multiplied them. <laughs> we we took all the things you hated, and we secretly took them out. Not really though. Uh, and <laughs> we made the things you liked better, except not. No, we made those worse. We know uh, and, <laughs> we know you had issues with the face rigging, so we just removed everyone's faces, so you can't have any issue with <laughs> <like> black holes. <laughs> so I'm sorry, my face is tired. Like you don't have a face. <laughs> Where's your face? <laughs> Help! <laughs> I'd rather have the bad faces. <laughs> These giant black holes. <laughs> uh, and you know what? Anthem's faces look pretty good. They took that criticism well. <laughs> it's Here's, it's still muted. <laughs> it seemed like turn it on. And <laughs> anyway, good. Oh next man, story. It's because I don't give a fuck yeah, at this next, point. Next story. Dragon Age being the next thing they do is like should be the last thing they do for EA, <laughs> and then they should leave. Run. <laughs> Can't wait till they close Bioware down so they can just let it finally die. Oh, and then they'll be like, you know what? They should just be EA Sports. At that point, like they have nothing else. What else else do they have besides uh, sports? They only need FIFA. That's all that matters to them. FIFA and even Madden. They even uh, uh, no, that's all they have. They don't even have the yeah. They have game. football and football. That's all they need. Yeah, they're only the only footballs. That's all they need. They should call themselves EA football. <laughs> EA football. <laughs> yeah, or just EA sports. Uh, Sit they they're never gonna make another street game because so EA Big is gone. That's that's done. Um, they'll they shouldn't make any more Bioware games. I guess Battlefield also. It. All right, so Battlefield and Disney oh, somehow content to still let them hold that fucking IP. Oh my god, I, I really hope this new Titanfall game is good. I'm gonna call it Titanfall because I have a feeling it's gonna be very similar to Titanfall, the Star Wars game that's coming out. I for, and also I forgot the subtitle. So, uh, the next so, generation. Yeah, the next right. generation. It's like Degrassi. <laughs> All right. Um. So the and I think I forgot to mention this last week because it was kind of. I forget if it was older last week or if it just happened, but uh, the Xbox TOS got like elaborated on on uh, their the website, TOS. and it and it in, okay. and included the uh, like what you're allowed to say on Xbox Live, what you're not allowed to say on Xbox Live. Can't and, say uh, PS4 is better. Excuse me. Yeah, um, gross. Can't talk about Nazis in a World War II game. Uh, you, yeah. So it talks about here's here's the thing is it talks about how they're able to revoke all your games. <laughs> oh okay. Oh hold on. <laughs> and if you, if you say a naughty word. So, like PlayStation did this before because there was some guy that was like super racist and he was like, I don't give a fuck. Everyone else is racist. I can be fucking racist if I want to. And, and Sony's like, all right, we took away all their games. So they just like, <laughs> they, they, they deleted all their like his account. So he does not have access to a digital games like whatsoever. Wow. And like, you say? and like I know I know David's kind of cringing be, at that. Oh, that that. See, well, to be fair, that guy was really racist. Yeah, so here's <laughs> the thing. It's first off, I'm not gonna be a pol- a- apologizer for a racist. I'm Sorry. not. I, I don't. I don't. I don't. <laughs> See, you oh, look like a dickhead now, don't you? Yeah, because <laughs> hey, David, you know, you know, David's just gonna I watch what he says now. You condemn the individual while still condemning the president it sets. Yeah, I will but, phrase it that way. The, like, the uh, precedent of being like, we don't like you, regardless of how legitimate, and that is a perfectly legitimate reason. The idea that a company is like, ah, oh, we just don't like you, we're taking your games away. That, oh. I get what you mean. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I get is what it, you mean. It actually reminds me of something, but go ahead. Is it saying? <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, That's it. I know, I know. I know. No, no, nothing funny. <laughs> go ahead. Um, I get what you're saying, too, but it's not necessarily they don't like you. It's that someone obviously is troubled by you. And you're causing a ruckus in their servers by ruckus. trying to fucking be racist. There's ah, uh, there's just so many other. Here's the cool thing. Here's the cool thing about that is you, be racist in offline games. You delete that guy. If you delete that guy's account, he'll come back. You delete all of his games. He ain't gonna buy all his games again. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, uh, that just. But I, if he had, the, if he was being racist mainly in a disc game though, then he would always he always strike back. Like if you had the no, racist for Overwatch, back. that's where he was racist. <laughs> you know, you could just put it back in. No, I, I get why David's like upset racist. about that, and I've I've gone to like multiple conversations that like 
that that people get really heated about because I'm like I don't give a fuck like fucking don't be racist. Uh, now to be fair, here's where it gets here's where it gets a little a little sketchy. Because someone could say you're being racist. Like if you just have like no. a group of fifty people no, that no, you no. know so and you I'm just sure want to fuck with somebody. I'm sure they'll they'll investigate it. If, if, yeah. If that well, case. if there's like fifty people saying he's racist, but you know you're just you know I guess they could investigate that they're all on the same friends list or whatever. Well, so I guess they could. No. Uh, so that's not what I'm, that's not what I'm going with. This is okay. um. Uh, let me see if I can pull it up. Um, the Xbox uh, terms of service. Let's see. Trash talk. Let me see if I can do this. So they also don't allow you to curse technically, but I mean like that's also what? Fuck that. They they can't. Here's the thing. They can't uh, say you're allowed to curse. Like you're not. They they can't just say oh you're allowed to swear on our servers. Like obviously they're gonna say you can't. But people are also kind of sketched out by that because now. It opens the window to be like, oh, so if you're cursing at someone and say get fucked, <laughs> you you might just you fucking lose access to your games there. What? I have so many games. <laughs> I told someone to get fucked because they <laughs> they should at that moment get fucked. <laughs> no, I mean sorry, like I'm in a good way. Like you know do. you know I want you to get some action, bro. <laughs> Yeah, go get yeah. I just want uh, it. Uh, I want to no, have fun. That's all. Th- this. This opens such a Pandora's box that I, oh man, I. You know what it reminds me of? Like, remember when PewDiePie said the N word that one time? Uh, and the uh, the Firewatch guys uh, were. Um, they were like, we don't want you to play our game anymore. Yeah, but they also copyrighted his uh, videos, so they took them down because they didn't want to be associated. He didn't say the N word during Firewatch, right, but, but they didn't want to be associated with them. They didn't want to be associated, but that opened up a, a whole new thing where like. A, Anybody could just like, oh, I don't want to associate myself with uh, Markiplier or whatever. So they would do that same thing to Markiplier or whatever. I don't think anything actually happened, but people were wor- worried that because these people were getting away with like taking his videos down because he said the N word in a different video game on a different video, then a lot of other companies would do something similar for you know maybe less you know reasons like that's you know, the problem. And, and that's word. why I fundamentally that's why I disagree me. with it. Just because, regardless of the circumstance, that sets such a dangerous precedent, and especially where yeah. we've had this discussion before, we are shifting to such a digital focus age that just knowing that kill switch is just going to be there, and all it's going to take is just one bad circumstance to cause it. Ah, oh, that just no. I feel that, like the that, Joker, one bad here's, day. Here's, it, and yeah, so the, the box is open, and yeah, so I mean, technically, like it is on on the playing field if you're cursing at someone, you could lose shit. The thing I said, uh, the way... now I have to say freak. Yep. Ah, you fucking freak. Well, I see here. Yeah, I, I, already think, oh, I God. got banned. Oh, yeah, I honestly have that thought. Like, PC gaming is something I predominantly do digitally. Oh. It's one of the only platforms I do digital only. And I sit here and I look at my thousand plus games on Steam and I go, fuck, if something ever happened to my Steam account, I think I would genuinely just kind of like. What so, uh, Microsoft is kind of thinking, you know, if we just revoke it, this guy's access, he's just going to fucking give up. And it's like, yeah, no, if there's one thing that would push me over the edge, it's definitely losing half my fucking collection like that. That, that, ah, uh, that's just <laughs> such a Pandora's box that. Well, they, yeah, they can't, they can't lie. They can't just say you're allowed to, to curse because then that, that opens up a whole. They could just not acknowledge it. They have to, though. They don't have to. They definitely well, they do. Say they're using, saying what you're using, using like racial slurs and stuff like that. Like that, because you, you this is, this is the one, this... dude, at, at Xbox conferences, people say fuck. Like, but this is, this is covering all of it though. That's supposed to be, it's supposed to cover all of it. Yeah, so it. imagine if but one parent not goes like, for saying fuck if one parent, if one parent gets upset about what? it and says, Hey, someone was cursing at my kid where they're going to say, Microsoft be like, Oh, it's not on our policy. They well, can like, yeah, want. Yeah, exactly. And there's a that. whole reason why games have online interactions are not rated. You put something similar to the, that no, in your fucking terms of service. That I get that, the... though. Like, if if you're playing, uh, I don't know, give me a kid's game. Like, if you're playing, uh, like, you're uh, playing uh, Plants, Plants, Plants vs. Zombies and someone comes up with no panties. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Plants vs. Zombies. Well, to be fair, my cousin wasn't cursing. He just saw the gamer tag. You don't know I had if a he gamer was. tag, a great gamer tag, and I got You don't know, I got you don't know if he was. It was hmm, no panties uh, with the best gamer tag ever. And uh, my cousin was playing on my account with that gamer tag on Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare for a long time. And uh, somebody didn't like that, I guess. And they reported my gamer tag and I had to switch. I didn't even have to switch. They gave me a shitty one. 
didn't even give me the option to switch it. They gave me some itchy foul. Like, what the fuck does that even mean? It's a bird and, and a thing you, you feel. Like, it's like <laughs> it's, it's, screw, my, screw yourself. Uh, <laughs> like, that sucks. No, but anyway. I mean, like, I... I... Well, at it, least that that's not I didn't get banned because I had a name like that. The way you know? the way the way I would see it is I think that if you're if you're excessively cursing, then that that's makes sense and you're gonna get in trouble for that because I feel like people are gonna get in trouble for cursing in general as it is right now. I think if you're like legitimately like racial slurs and sexual harassment and stuff like that. Yeah, then, racial slurs. No. Mm-mm. And again, like. I mean, I'm not, I'm not losing any sleep over someone that's racist losing them all their video games. Like, hey, honestly, that, that's like, why I I'm say a, the individual, uh, I, the individual I don't care about. Yeah, you deserve some kind of punishment for that kind of fucking behavior. However, the principle of the actions that were taken bother me to my core. Well, as in, as in what? Like, do you think it's okay that? That they could just like flip a switch and your shit's. Yeah, that out. that bothers. Ah, uh, that that. Even if you're being racist to people the on the platform, which might also the, lose the, you sales because you you're scaring away customers. What? No, he's just saying the idea of them being exactly. Able to do that I don't bothered. disagree that the individual deserves a punishment. I do think that the concept of hitting that nuclear option is something that it's funny to me, but that's. Just, <laughs> no, it is, it is, I, no, no, I, no. I, I understand know, what he's saying. No, no, is it, is it funny how the I, I think it is funny in that situation, no, but what's if, like, you're just like, I know. you say, like, hey, what's up, my boys? Or, you know, a, a, different, a worse word. How no, long dude, is it <laughs> until these rules get even more broad and dude, more gray area you, you that know, something else can get fucked I, over? I just, I just, I'm laughing. I'm laughing because it's funny that I'm, I'm also the one more there digital, like, positive about everything and i'm also like oh, this is hilarious <laughs> yeah, um, it's hilarious no, that the no, no. hr person is defending a racist <laughs> i i, I, uh, I get it no i get it i get you it love racism i get it but on the same token too is i can't remember the last time i like actively actively sent like curse at someone on on a on a game or sent them curse words i've cursed them when we're, we're, we're like in voice chat ourselves and oh, we're talking yeah. shit to them like fuck that oh yeah i have too i haven't I've ever called someone a racial term though yeah i'm but sure you, you I, said you I, said you I, fucking suck at someone were though talking shit in competitive overwatch and they were really pissing me off i turn my mic on and tell them like they're children or i usually go for the one like hey man are you okay like i, I try to like <laughs> stoop on their level I, and I, then i and then it gets worse but yeah, see that's but... the point like again don't agree with racism in any way, shape, or form. Get get not. that shit the fuck out of here. But when you start broadening it to something like that, it's like I I love a good fucking band. I I love fucking trash talk. It's such an ingrained thing oh, yeah. in gamer culture, trash especially that it's it, yeah, again it just opens up such yeah, a but, Pandora's box. Yeah, but some people that... some people don't get when too far is too far. And some people probably go overboard. And also, I mean, you don't know who you are talking to at the other end. So, if I guess some guy's like, hey, fuck you, you fucking piece of fucking shit. And it's like some three-year-old or something. <laughs> I don't know why it's three. <laughs> I don't know why it's three. <laughs> but uh, but I get, play, I, I'm uh, sure uh, that, that's why there's a war four. <laughs> that's why there's a line here, though, right? But then also, again, if you want to even add to it, like what Gord just said right now, is like, there's also some games that have a lot of cursing in it in general, so why are you yeah. not allowed to curse in the game? Like, yeah, like, Marcus of, Phoenix is going, shit, yeah! There's, a lot, of, there's like, a lot of weird areas in there, but I could see why profanity's in there, specifically because it's like, you can probably go overboard, granted. Again, it, it's it's a Pandora's box, because they don't want... It could be surface level, like, hey, fuck you, and that's it, you're done. <laughs> you're but, done. I mean, but, I mean, again, I, I also don't think they can, they're allowed to say you can curse... I think they have to cover it. I think. I think they have to cover it. I, I don't think they do. For, from in, uh, from a legal perspective, I don't think they do. What I think happens, they, so what happens if anyone complains about it? it? Huh? Hmm? What Your audio cut out. Anyone? What if anyone complains about it? You just don't acknowledge it. <laughs> it's a it's a legitimate thing. You, Phil Spencer you don't says, have to "Shut up, bitch." I think. I think. <laughs> I think at some point someone has to acknowledge something. Your kids a pussy. They don't. <laughs> Phil Spencer said. <laughs> I'd say that. But then <laughs> no, because no, because you can't you can't just say they can't just not acknowledge it because they can also not acknowledge anything whatsoever on their TOS, but they have to acknowledge somewhere to keep some sort of rule there. They, yeah, they, they I think they should actually... acknowledge it, but but I I do agree with David that that extreme is extreme. No, it is, <laughs> like, but I mean, like, it, for that one guy it wasn't. Only way for that I can one see... guy it wasn't, but but just see, if you're 
Yeah. If we're having the conversation of, like, yeah, but there's already these swearing in these games. Well, if you're already allowing the game with these types of language on your platform, I think it's honestly even more detrimental to acknowledge it in your TOS when you're allowing the thing you're against on your platform to begin with. It's a very weird kind of double-edged sword in that regard. But, it's, but again, hey, it's also, if, if, we're allowing is... curse, if we're allowing right. cursing, it's not necessarily, like, the game's not necessarily cursing at the person in excess, you know, it's like someone directing a, a, an insult or something at you, an, un, an unwanted insult is something different. Then you word it differently. You frame it maybe as harassment. You don't directly speci- uh, specify swear or anything, but you direct it as harassment towards you. Harass- other harassment's ways- even worse. I think it's even a yeah, bigger Pandora's good. box because that could be like, that, that could be screw you. you. That could be screw you when you're getting harassed. Yeah. Oh, uh, he wants to screw me? Like, no? What? <laughs> Yeah, I think no, I think I, harassment's I, an even bigger. There, there, I just think there is a better way to phrase it, or a better thing to go after in phrasing. like guidelines. Exactly, they call uh, it guidelines uh, instead. Here are the guy. Like, these are just things like maybe you shouldn't do. You, you don't be naughty. <laughs> you know, like, hey, so, like, exactly. Like fucking no, rule number like one: that. try not to be an asshole. Terms of service makes it seem like if you break one of these, you're done. We're gonna come exactly. after you. I, with, I, know. I just legal paper, and you're going to jail. I, and I don't fucking uh, obviously not. <laughs> I guess the other question is: is how enforceable it is too, and because it won't be I doubt the kid. Because that's the other thing, too, is I would be interested to see this go to court. I don't think it will. I don't think, obviously, if Jeff Fitch is especially some racist fucking punk, is going to fucking dare try to take Microsoft to court. But it would be interesting to see how much of their TOS is even actually something that is legally uh, something that can actually hold up in a court if it was actually ever fought. But that's going to take a major high profile scenario of that ever happening. I think it could be fun unless they have, I guess, I guess they would probably have audio recordings of them saying all this shit, right? Well, it's not so much about if they can prove that the individual was saying these things. It's if the court of law finds that what was agreed to in the contract is something that's reasonable right, because right. you can put whatever you want in a terms of service. It doesn't mean that it's still legally binding. There's a lot of like non compete clauses uh, that some companies have, or like there's a lot of like, ah, you have to follow these specific policies, you know, as, as being part of this company that you can put in your terms of service or other legal documentation. But if taken to court, it's like, no, you can't enforce this kind of bullshit. Get that out of here and you're just we'll throw that shit out and penalize people for it uh there's a, a very specific i'm trying to remember the name of the case it's fucking escaping me um but there was a case a while back where a company was like hey you have to sign away like all it's kind of similar to the arbitration thing that we were talking about earlier but it was like even more extreme than that it was like they had to wave away all their rights to kind of any kind of arbitration, not even just like an internal arbitration, but they just had no legal recourse against the company. And they ultimately sued the company anyways. And the judge was like, you can't say they can't have any legal recourse against you guys. That's just not allowed. Oh, Sony. Sony had that as part of their issues. When the uh, server issues were going on, it was part of their TOS that you, they couldn't have arbitration against them uh, for any kind of fuck up on PSN. And uh, that got completely thrown out of court saying, no, what you can't have this in your terms of service. That's bullshit. Um, mm-hmm. And that's part of the reason why they did a lot of other things to give out games as an apology. So something adjacent to this conversation has already been taken to courts. So it's one of the things that I would... I, I don't want to say this, but I would like to see Microsoft try this shit on someone that is less of a shitty person, and then that person be well off enough to be able to take someone like Microsoft to court over it, just so that way it can be like, all right, we got to fucking create some ground rules here. But sorry, that was my uh, legal. <laughs> yep. What a fucking nerd, here. dude! Yeah, what a loser. All right, <laughs> next <So>. up. <laughs> uh. <laughs> So we have. Zanx-Pink. You know what? He's such a nerd, but he doesn't have a Zebo. Yeah, he, he, I'm he, sorry. He, I gotta he, replace my dryer. He's a coward. Uh, if you're watching it. this part, just comment "coward" for David. <laughs> David, <the> coward. <laughs> coward, coward times two. <laughs> uh, so John still, Wick Hex still a coward. A, John Wick's John Wick Hex is a thing. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. From the, the developers of. It's a. Uh, you know who John Wick is? 
No, please enlighten me about John Wick. He, he, uh, you, you, he really had, you really don't know about John Wick? In the span of 48 hours, he, he killed about half of the, the Hitman world. organization. The world. <laughs> because Deals someone, gold so, because, that, wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. because Theon Greyjoy killed his puppy. So. He doesn't know who that is either. Uh, no, I legitimately, I, I fucking love the John Wick movies. Yeah, I know, you like, I know you like uh, John Wick. Uh, that's why I made the gold joke. I yeah, we, do, we, also, we, also, we also talked about John Wick on a previous podcast. Yeah, I, I fucking, yeah. It was I like think we just mentioned it. We just mentioned it. Like. Yeah, so, <laughs> we weren't talking about, like, oh, John Wick. Let's talk about John Wick for two hours. We but, John Wick spoiler cast in the game podcast. Yeah. Yo, man, that was super shot that one guy. The, you know, the one guy. <laughs> yeah, the I mean, one of oh, 5,000 we talk about fucking anime on this podcast. Who gives a shit? Yeah. Anime is very similar to John. All right. So, <laughs> yeah, this is from the guy that made the uh, Subsurface Circular, isn't it called? Yeah. In Quarantine. I, I think it's... Uh, unless Quarantine is made by someone different. No, they're all made by the same guy. Okay, Quarantine's the newest one. That's and, the only one I've played. And from Tom and, and, of course, which we know we know a friend. <laughs> we always mention he's that loves Thomas is alone. Uh, which if I have he's listening right now, what's up? Because I know he listens sometimes. Oh, uh, does he? Hey, right, yeah. what's up? What's up, babe? Um, but yeah, no, I mean, <laughs> the quarantine game was pretty cool. I, I again, I didn't finish it yet, but I got I'm almost like an hour into it or something like that, like 40 minutes. Short. It. It's short, but uh, it's cool because you're just like talking to this alien. You're like trying to figure out like, hey, what you doing here, babe? And uh, Stop saying, babe. talking to other people. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first contact of an alien. You're just like, hey, man, what are you doing here? And you have like you have a translator and so it, it's cool. So I don't understand. Even Thomas was alone wasn't really an action game, right? It's just like jumping. Oh, it's a platformer. Yeah, that's it. So it's weird that now they're doing. I don't know what the other game volume. I think it's called. I don't. I, I, don't, I don't know what kind of game that is. But it's weird that they're doing something like this. But that's then cool I look they, at it and I think about more. It, it makes sense. Huh? That's cool. They got him to do it. Yeah. So it's. A, have you guys seen the trailer? Yeah. No. Okay. He has, but you haven't. It's a. Uh, it's kind of like. It looks like it's trying to do like an XCOM thing a little bit. It's a strategy game, and at first I thought maybe it was gonna go for like a Hitman Go or something like that. And I guess it kind of is too. But like you, you. It's kind of like XCOM where you're like hiding behind stuff and whatever. But you're planning out your attack, so you're actually planning out what John Wick's gonna do. So you're like, uh, you know, kill this dude and then jump off him to shoot the other guy and stuff. So you're actually planning a, pretty much a scene of John Wick. Um, and at least that's what I got from the trailer. I haven't seen gameplay. If there is gameplay out there. And, and the trailer does have a little gameplay. But, you know, if there's a, like, gameplay demo or something. I was hoping this game would be out for the movie or something. Like, it would just be a surprise release. Like, uh, next week, it's out. But uh, This looks kind of interesting. I like the art style of it. Yeah, he's watching that. Uh, but, yeah, it has a... It, I was actually surprised by that. I thought it was going to be a twin stick shooter or something like that, you know? Guys, I got it. It's going to come out on Switch and we'll get John Wick and Smash Brothers. Yeah. Oh, he, he just win every single time. Hey, oh, his, his trophy is going to be the dog? The new the new one? The dead one. <laughs> oh, it'll be Holly Berry, I guess. it would be Holly Berry from the new one. Right. But, um, I don't know her character's name yet. Um... Uh, <clears throat> He says the character's name. In uh, it's Catwoman. 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 <laughs> he calls her Catwoman. But um, that'd be funny because he's a dog guy. Right. Uh, anyway, yeah, no, it, it looks cool. really good. Yeah. I, I don't know about the graphics stuff. I'm not really. I'm not a big fan of the art style personally. I, oh, I, yeah, I so. mean, if you have to, if you have to make a, like a minimalist thing, like oh, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. that's fine. Because I, I kind of see like I'm all the like, Hitman and stuff like that. Yeah, no, I'm fine with that. It actually reminded me of that one game you always wanted me to play. Um, with the like the weird character models. What's that one game? It's like a Telltale game. Kentucky no, you, you, you didn't want me to play it, huh? Kentucky Route Zero. No, no, no. It, it, you actually did. Oh, Virginia. It. Yeah, you didn't want me to play that actually. Yeah, because I, to- I told you. I, it had I, a, it had a similar look to the character models. I I, I fucking love a good walking simulator because I'm in and out like two three hours. Yeah. I got I, like I, Virginia. They're like, oh, it's like a it's like a Twin Peaks style thing. I'm like, fuck yeah. Played it, hated it. <laughs> I was like, this is dumb. I heard it was very Twin Peaks, so you might not like Twin Peaks. I'm pretty sure I like Twin Peaks. I, I, I've, I've seen like one or two episodes of like, The Sworn a while back, like a long while back, and I liked it. But fucking man, love I, Twin Peaks. I, I just did yeah, not. I, I need to rewatch it again. Virginia, I just. No oh, good. No, Virginia sucked. I mean, I'm sure it's good for some people. That's all I want to say sucked. I, I, suck. I didn't like it. And yeah. the most egregious thing of it all. The the one the one thing you can always take a good a good walking simulator to know is that you'll at least have like 800 gamer score out of that game after you're done with it. I had five fucking gamer score after that. I had five fucking points out of a thousand. Yeah. That was Fuck some bullshit. That. Uh, that's 
No. No, fuck the rest <laughs> of this conversation. Let's talk about Twin Peaks. Fucking love it. I uh, no. just finished showing most of it to a buddy of mine. Uh, we just got done showing him uh, Firewalk with me, and so now we're going to go watch season three, yeah. which I haven't even seen season three yet. So. And right after that, they're going to make out. All right. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> and the last, the last little piece of news I had is uh, there's some movie theaters that are serving as esports arenas. Wow! And if, I'm excited for you to watch Overwatch League next time you go to watch Endgame. Oh, I can't. Nope. <laughs> 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 They'll be ending the game and starting Endgame. That's about it. But uh, no, I ain't watching no fucking Overwatch in a that, theater. That's kind of cool. Though. Filled I with think. a bunch of losers. I like the idea of it. I mean, it'd be one of those things that I'm sure I won't ever be able to take advantage of it because why the fuck would they ever do something like that? But in if Maine? they did there, but... that'd be cool because I mean, one, you you're finally like hanging out with all these people that you really like. I feel like a lot, with, especially with esports, like you wouldn't, you don't really see your community around because everyone's at home watching exactly. or, or at like, the I mean, fucking event. Fucking Evo Finals being <laughs> thrown up on fucking a big that, screen. I, that I'd watch. That'd be like fantastic. I only watch the highlights of Evo, but I would totally watch Evo because I love watching dude, fighting games. Dude, I don't so know why. The, I hate the, playing most of them for the most part, but I love watching them. The magic of Evo, or watch not the so magic much. Evo, especially if you're not into like fighting games or like not like big and like watching it. The magic is of being hyped with everyone else when you see something cool. Yes. Because, yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't really care for Street Fighter that much. Like, it's, like, whatever to me. It's, like, on the, on the bottom, like, of my own personal tiers of, of fighting games I'm, I'm into. But still, like, what was it? The end of, like, 2016 that I was there? I was still, like, watching. And that's, that's when they disconnected the the fight the fight stick, right? Yep. That was the grand finals. I do. Yep, and then oh, they wow. had to have the, uh, character, uh, the character costume change because they couldn't show it on ESPN. Yeah, something like that. I don't know which one, but it, but like that that you get excited for because you see everyone else getting excited for, it, and then all of a sudden you're super into it now. It's super fun. That that's 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 yeah, about where it is. Character. Like you can ask, oh man, like you can ask Adrian too. Especially like half of the event was like me sitting there, especially like watching Tekken or watching some of the other events going on, and I'd hear Adrian go in the background. Look at him, he's so fucking happy. <laughs> and likewise with Cause, Smash, cause, you know, cause, like, cause, I didn't cause... even give a shit about Smash, but I stayed with Adrian in the crowd for that just to see his hype for it. Yeah, because <laughs> that's the one with Mega Man fucking made fucking grand finals. And Finally, that, that, Adrian's that was, happy. That was that was the last he ever did too. That's, that was the best he ever did. So the hype peaked right there. Uh, but David's also a little bit of a loner, too, because, you know, he needs his own little bubble right now and then. So I'll seriously walk the entire <laughs> Evo venue, because it's not that, it wasn't that big, but you can walk around a little bit. I walk back and just see David just sitting all alone, but just, like, with the giant smile, just looking at it. <laughs> it's yeah, just, like, just looking at this, this funny game. I'm like, hey, you have a good time? He's like, hell yeah. I'm like, cool, I'll see you later. He's like, hell yeah, all right. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> it's true. When I'm when I'm generally like really into something, I don't give a fuck. I I'm a support beam. I just enjoy what's going on, and I just I just you, take it for what it is. Are you doing Evo? You're for sure doing Evo. So... Hmm. Are you for sure doing Evo yet? Yeah, I'm for sure doing Evo. I talked it over with my boss, and I'll be able to get the time off for okay, so it. We need so. to figure out how you're getting there. We'll figure it out. But uh, yeah, you got yeah. you got you got finals tickets, right? Yep. Okay, so back then I was a poor bitch, but now I'm good. So I got finals tickets, so we could both do that. Because I know I wanted to go see finals before, but David, David was like into watching finals, but then after he saw the top eight, which is like seven, seven Japanese players and like one American, he's like, "I'm good. If you want to watch it, go ahead. I'm just gonna watch in the room." <laughs> yeah, that plus it was like, oh man, Curse G is in is it, fucking is Marvel. It DSP? And... It, nah, yeah, he, DSPs he, and fucking Marvel. He, he's he's yeah. shocking. I didn't too, do too well. Yeah, he uh, he made number four in uh, Turbo Street Fighter Two or whatever uh, back yes, in two thousand five. Yeah, he was, was the like, number one US it was the pro console fighter. version of Alpha Two. Yeah, it was... It, 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 like there was only eight people playing it, but he he did he got number four. So he's All the right, best. let's not talk about DSP. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, we already had our undercover ops conversation about that after the last couple podcasts. Um, so. Yeah. What are you entering? Did you already did you sign up? Uh, yeah, I'm entering in for Tekken 7. That's it? Yeah. You're not gonna Don't you practice, want to know what I'm entering for? You're not going to practice Unist? Hmm? You're not going to practice Unist? No. Fuck that game. I got Unist. No, yeah. I'm picking that up. I will pick that game up because uh, over on Fanatical, they have a $5 deal where it's a bunch of fighting games for 5 bucks, and that's one of the games. So I'll, I'll, I'll pick it up it. to tinker with it because I've always wanted to try it. But if I'm going to go compete in a game, I like to just try and focus on one and really hone in on that. So I'll be focusing on uh, Tekken 7 and trying to get my Lily back up to speed. Yeah, the only good games I'm gonna try to go for is uh, Dead or Alive Six <laughs> and Marvel's Capcom Infinite and Catherine and Catherine coming. 
I'm, I'm yeah, gonna try to get the cat. I'm gonna try to catch Catherine. Will, actually, uh, that would be fun. I, I would love to see the Catherine. Man, I can't wait for football. Have you ever seen out. Catherine being played at Evo? Yeah, that that would be fun. It's super fun to see, actually. Um, yeah. Do they so, actually stream that, or is that like one of those like they don't? Ones? They don't. Well, they, they they stream it, but like on someone else's channel. Okay. So. Um, yeah, it's a side tournament. But it's yeah, super, I it, figure because Catherine's not really. It's super cool because <laughs> like one guy has been like dominating it, right? And like right. what was like a couple years ago, one of the top Smash Melee commentators actually was like is really good at Catherine. He made it up to grand finals and actually reset the bracket against that guy. And everyone's like, it went like a last game where I'm like, oh shit, is this Smash guy gonna beat the fucking top Catherine dude? Right. Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, David, Catherine. um, after this podcast, remind me of that adapter you used to trans to make your P- your Xbox adapter, your Xbox stick work on PS4. Uh Chronos Max Plus. I don't know, I can remember that. So just remind me. Chronos Max Plus. Remember, remind me that because I have an Xbox ticket. I want to take that to Evo. Yeah, I'll, I'll. Is it? I didn't notice that it's confirmed that they're doing the PS4 version. Yeah, they're all they're all, all right. PS4 versions. Yeah, I'll have to. I don't know. I might just bring a controller. Or I might just uh, bring my fucking PS3 stick and use the converter because I'm bringing my fucking Evo stick. I ain't risking anything happening to that. You gonna buy Evo stick when you're there? <laughs> Stay tuned for that episode. He's gonna buy it. Seven hundred dollars. It's gonna be fucking a live podcast. And he's gonna fucking and buy it, coward. While he's there, there's gonna be someone selling a Zebo, and he's gonna buy it, <laughs> no matter what the price. A custom Zebo. <laughs> oh, Zebo Evo, Evo edition. Yeah, an Evo Zebo. <laughs> Evo Zebo. Evo Zebo. That sounds like a dumbass like character in like sci- some science fiction show. <laughs> it's Evo right. Zebo. So that's it for that. That's news. Um, ooh, 220. All right, we're going. All right. Is it? Our last, uh, our last thing that we're gonna do is uh, do I even want to do this? Uh, yeah, do it. You. Say it. Hold on. Let's let's do it. Well, the problem is that this 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 episode is gonna be super topical. It's because uh, uh, David suggested our bullshit be uh, Final Final Fantasy VII remake news at the State of Play tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, well, let's talk about it. Let's see if it. You know what? Let's let's try to guess what the uh, game is. Well, that, that's, be. that's 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 the whole thing. Is that it? It's the bullshit. Is that it's going to be Final Fantasy VII remake? But I think they said a new game though. That's not new. They already announced it. Well, they said they were going to show the games that's that have been in the works for a while and a new game. Because, they're only showing because... no. They're showing medieval. It's only going to be ten minutes long. They already announced be- this because they announced that, uh, or what was it? The uh, Square Enix executive officer and Final Fantasy brand manager uh, tweeted that, uh, retweeted the state of play and said, "Oh, it has come." And they posted some screenshots from Final Fantasy VII with it. It has come. Also, the uh, what's interesting is the <laughs> Japanese Twitter accounts for uh, the play broadcast uh, were saying it was fifteen minutes long. Fifteen or fifty. Fifteen. Oh, they, uh, every news article I saw said it was ten. Yeah, uh, apparently the Japanese maybe. one's been saying it's for like fifteen minutes. Uh, I saw it too. So, where you guys it's, land hey, is the bullshit. Even, even if it wasn't announced, even if it wasn't announced before, it's still not a new game. It's like true, but calling, they have said they're going to be showing off things that have been in the works. I all I heard was medieval and a new game. Yeah, that's the only one that's been confirmed of of the things that have been in the works. Okay. I don't we know, know why Final Fantasy VII is being made. Okay. I, for a 10 minute state of play before E3. Right, Gore, you, you, Gore, you call him bullshit? I mean, it'll already be confirmed well, if it was bullshit you or not. Put your fucking I, I'll, ego I'll say bullshit, but I don't know. <laughs> it's like, oh, maybe. Shit, you don't know. <laughs> could be. Could be. Could be real. Nah, of course it's 100% bullshit. All right, David, what do you say? I'll say it's bullshit. I, I think it's real. The only reason why is it's been years since they first showed off the uh, trailer for it. It's been it about crazy. a year and a half since they canned uh, the studio that was doing the work on it originally. They have to at least get ahead of the game at this point now that PlayStation 4 is on its way out and show us something to show that this game still exists. And now, and that was one of the promised things that Square said when it was, when Kingdom Hearts 3 is finished, all our efforts going to be moving those teams over to Final Fantasy 7 Remake. So I can easily see them taking this opportunity and be like, hey, here's just a quick, you know, minute, maybe two minutes uh, showing what we have finally done and kind of brought to light for this game and showing off some new content for it. I think... Bullshit. If you're ever gonna have a uh, a state of play with only two games in it, 
it ha- the second one has to be a big one, right? But what? Medieval and Final Fantasy VII. Why even show Medieval at that point? No one will fucking give a shit about Medieval. It, has to, it shit. still has to be a Sony state Dude, of play. Dude, they show Final Fantasy VII again. You're, you're going to really tell me you're go- you'll are you be like, oh, yeah, Medieval. <laughs> no, but, yeah. I, but I mean, that, that's the, the way to get evil. around with it, though, right? I love that's... Medieval, too, but, like, Final Fantasy VII is but, a way bigger deal. But would you... would? So here's the thing. is One, it, you can't just do... It. Sony's not going to dedicate a whole state of play to a different... To a third-party game, that's dumb. Right. Second I know, but off, like you, at an E3 one, this announcement would make sense. You know, show a, little, a bunch of little stuff, but like but, having one that just shows one game and then the big game. Right, but do you want like two big games? But that small game. Do you, want two, do you want two big games instead? No, just one big game. If it's gonna be fucking. If it's gonna Especially be ten where, minutes. Again, remember, it's gonna be Sony exclusive for the first year. So, because uh, that was still part of the original deal, is that Final Fantasy sure. VII remake is exclusive for a while. So, yeah, why would you not want to take just two minutes to be like, oh, by the way, this is still a thing, and here's where it's at right now. I'll sure, show but like and drop it like anything, at the very end and just show showing it anything end. from this would be a huge thing because they haven't seen we haven't seen anything. Well, here, how about this? Early, they, early 2016 was what, the last thing we they, saw. They, because here's the thing, the la- the first state of play was such an eh kind of thing. Yeah. What better showstopper for a state of play than them dropping the mic with something with Final Fantasy? It's kind of like how, you know, we've had some good directs, we had some bad directs. Imagine every time they fucking drop direct information involving Smash, it was just like, fucking here you go. Right, right. Yeah, no, but that's not what I'm saying, though. It's just that... Like why do it in one that just has two games and just completely well, here, here, here's completely right. like submerge that first game first in, because off, you're assuming it, we're just having two games. Well, it's a, a, if it, even if it's fifteen minutes, like three games, then like, first I don't off, know. no one gives a fuck about Medieval. I do, but I, compared to Final Fantasy VII, no. Yeah, Dude, it's so, not even so, close. so first off, they gotta have some sort of of of, of anchor brief break, right? They have, to like, have, they have to have an anchor of like, hey, here's a Sony thing, and also you can also kind of flip it too and say, hey, people who want to see this this play this Final Fantasy, and they're gonna sit through Medieval, you know, they're gonna see something about it, whatever. Second yeah, sure. off, I I could totally see them doing a Medieval. Here's a cool long thing. Last two minutes are a trailer for Final Fantasy VII, saying, hey, tune into our state of play during E3. But then they would ruin the surprise. No one. Have, no, well, that's been the last four years. Surprise, no one gives a fuck like about surprises you don't want that anymore. To be a surprise. I want that to be a surprise. No. It was a surprise when they announced it. Yeah, but remember, like the last like three. <laughs> no, years, we're not expecting that shit. The last two <laughs> like, or three years, companies don't really care about you being surprised. They, they want to get their word out of their game beforehand. Bro, Sony did it last year with Resident Evil Two. Like I was like, what the fuck? They were keeping that like, like we're we're a rat. What the fuck's yeah, going well, on? Yeah, they stuff, but they 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 need to. Even Neo 2 was just like, what the yeah, fuck but here's is this? The thing, is those, had like, oh. a, those games had a chance to be a surprise. Final Fantasy 7 is something that we've been waiting for once since they did the tech demo on PS3. And now that they actually are like, yes, no, this is happening. It's been like, what, four years now and mm-hmm. nothing to show for it? They, oh, they showed some gameplay. Square, well, not. They show some gameplay of game they ultimately scrapped because the studio yeah. was incompetent. Oh, yeah. So yeah. they have it, to sh- it didn't look like what people would want anyway. I, and I'm assuming if they show it again, it'll just be a turn-based game again. Fuck, that would be... F- I would be happy with that. But it's one of those things that ultimately, at the end of the day, they have to basically give us something. Even And I could easily see it just being a quick little two minutes at the end of it and be like, all right, tune in, like Adrian said, tune in for more at E3 because that's going to re-engage hype. It's going to keep interest going. This seems to be a year that they're pushing heavily interest in Final Fantasy VII. They're doing a Distant Worlds uh, kind of style concert dedicated to just Final Fantasy VII music this year. There's a lot of other things that they're kind of working on. I can't think of a better way to reignite that hype train than Sony trying to push their state of play. And again, also lending Final Fantasy. I, I can't think of a better way for Sony to be like, hey, you really want something good out of our state of play? Here's something that can happen. If you go ahead and say Final Fantasy 7 remake new information, state of play, everyone's fucking picking up on that. They they didn't set the tone last time for anything substantial because so far it was like the town directs have some cool stuff going on, but they they didn't they they it took them a while for them to hit their stride where they're like, hey, we can announce big stuff here too. Sony hasn't done that yet. And I think that I think David's right with that is that they need something big. They need they need to make something big for you to, to care to tune into their state of play and still keep an eye on Sony eighty three. I think exactly. I think that I think it's there is gonna be something big. I don't I don't know if it's gonna be Final Fantasy Seven. And I, I don't I 
I don't, I don't, I don't get why they would do it. And like, and not that I don't get why they would do it. I don't get why they put medieval in there and just fucking bury it completely. Like I, said, I, I, don't, I don't. I love medieval. It doesn't. It doesn't deserve to be like fucking. It doesn't deserve to be uh, Devolver Digitaled. Uh, because in 2015, remember when they showed Shemu three? Immediately after that, they show a Devolver Digital montage, and I remember nobody even listening to that montage, let alone looking at it, just listening to it because they were freaking out about Shenmue three. Well, that, that's the, before though, or that's because they did. I know, before. but Medieval is just like you'll you'll forget everything you even saw about Medieval because they'll show Final Fantasy seven again well, or whatever I mean, the big but, game is. But in the, on that same token too, if you have two things there, and anyone discuss any outlet discuss it, they're gonna call it the state of play that happened. And they're gonna have to mention medieval. The like, Final Fantasy point. Seven one. <laughs> yeah, but and, then, uh, then they medieval. have to mention medieval somewhere in there. Yeah, uh, first medieval. I don't, I don't think Final medieval Fantasy was, was medieval even gonna be a big thing at all. Like I felt like it's gonna no, be like some budget no. game that was gonna. It, it, it's not like a budget game, but it's. It's yeah. a, is it sixty dollars? But they, uh, like if it's I can a, see it being it, forty. It, I think it's a digital only game though. Oh, I'm don't say like, that. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is. Don't say um, that. It might be, I don't know. But if it is physical, then, it then if it is physical, then I think it'll probably be forty. It'll be, it'll be like NAC two. You know? I'd be surprised if like, that was sixty dollars. It's not gonna be six. There's no way. I, they already showed gameplay too, so this isn't even that big of a deal. Because we already seen what it looks like. Yeah, it'll be it'll be thirty or forty. Thirty if it's digital only. Forty if it's physical. That's what I think. I buy oh. that for a dollar. Uh, with that. 40. Um, I think State of Play is going to be great. That's my prediction. I don't know if it's going to have Final Fantasy VII in it, but I think it's going to be a really small two, maybe three games, maybe four. I could see them doing a Final Fantasy And it's going to have say, some good good trailers. I'll say it's true. I'll just keep it spicy. I think I, think I, I like that's what I was saying. Like I was I was iffy because it could be true. I just I don't know if I would like that for my boy Medieval. What's his name? Sir Daniel Fortescue, or whatever. Oh, yeah, he, Fortescue. He's already he's already dead. So I mean, it doesn't really matter. I know. It just fucking dude, that sucks. <laughs> like, the only thing that can fucking bring his ass back to life is piggybacking off of Final Fantasy. I don't know if it's piggybacking though. Like I don't know. That piggybacking would be like uh, I don't know, five minute break in between Final Fantasy seven, <laughs> so you can calm, so you can calm the fuck down, and then they show medieval. You know. <laughs> Not medieval. You'd be like, all right, you, cool. I, you, and then, no, and then I, you forget I, medieval completely because Final Fantasy VII. I think it's the opposite. I, I think you, you can't start I off. Know. You gotta start off with that. You can't just start off with the high thing and then just end off with the whimper. Exactly. No, no, you, no, you no, I, I get that. But I just didn't want it to be medieval. You know, how come it can't be like a VR montage again? <laughs> and then, oh, those games look cool. They're not. Oh, yeah, I'll show big. a fucking Freddy Fazbear. Then at yeah. the end, here's Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> I, I didn't mean. That exact VR montage, but I mean, like just a montage of stuff. Like here's some cool shit coming. Uh, it's like you're here's gonna, that gonna, blood and gonna, truth game. Iron Man VR, gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna yeah, Iron Man VR gameplay. Show that, and then gonna, and then go into. You're gonna forget more about everything else then. Like you're gonna. That, forget that's about like if Ubisoft uh, announced like a giant game right after like showing more of Beyond Good and Evil Two. I'd yeah, be that, like, oh, that doesn't make sense <laughs> to me. You want them to cut off more games as a cluster. Well, games I don't care about. <laughs> it's it's all. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna blow your mind here. No one cares about medieval. <laughs> Me and him do more people yeah. in the Skype call do than than True. Them, So the majority oh, of people in this call. And if you own a PlayStation back in the day, Fuck back yeah. in the, then you probably played medieval, and you liked it. If you no didn't, one's gonna, no one's gonna care you. about medieval. We do. Why is he even here if nobody cares about it? Why are you even do a remake? Nobody cares. Well, there's a reason why they're putting him next to Final Fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that was the podcast. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for tuning in. Because of fuckers like you. Thank you for tuning in. Ruining you can it find all. me at Depunked. You can find uh, that, and that's on my Twitter, my Twitch. You can find Gore at Gore the Movie God. That's his Twitch. Is that your Twitch? That's your Twitch, right? No. Yeah. All right, and then you can find that on Twitter. And then uh, let's play our. I don't week, use Twitch though. Play so. our weekly game. Are we ready for our favorite so, uh, game again? Here, here's how. Here, let me let me establish rules because I don't I don't like Gore. I don't like it when Gore wins. So <laughs> I want Gore. I want Gore to now. Here's the thing. I want Gore to guess the entire name through. What? You, you're not gonna give him. No, you're not gonna give him reassurance. So Gore can't do this bullshit. Okay. Like, is there an O? No. Okay. So I know it's not gonna be an O. So you gotta guess the entire name all the way through, and at the end. David tells you if you're right or wrong. No, no. I don't even want to do this fucking game. <laughs> oh, this is our game. I ain't gonna make up rules for a game I don't even want to do. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Gore, guess that name. 
for a name that all show fucking, you some dumb fucking name that nobody cares about nobody will ever fucking figure out all right d u r a n d a l don't tell him j o y Joy you. E. No, see, I don't want that. Just tell him at the end. He didn't tell me. <laughs> A. It's in the game. <laughs> <laughs> well, that. okay. I my my process is like when you have like a like a French thing like that. You it ends with a. With an X. So I think it ends with an X. I think he said before how he spells it a long time ago. He did. Like the first episode. <laughs> I don't remember, though. I think it's ended with an X. I'm going to say E-A... No. U? U-X. Wrong. So, so you spell it G-O-Y-E-A-U-X? G-O-Y... I forgot. E-A-U-X. That's what I said, yeah. Okay, and then Durant. Okay, that's wrong. All right, tune in next week for Gore's attempt. <laughs> Not next week, so I won't be here next week. Yeah. I'll still try to guess it. He knows how to spell it. <laughs> I'll just get a fucking message while I'm fucking in Salt Lake. Yeah, like, is how it's spelled? Are, are no. you available to call? We'll call you. No, I'll be in... Uh... Actually, I think I'll be on my return flight home as you guys are doing the podcast. You. I'll just, just be on the plane. Fucking no one cares. Yeah, I'll do a Skype call in the middle of a fucking flight. Yeah, Do by it. the Wi-Fi. If the plane goes down, we'll know what happened. So we <laughs> call the cops or whatever. <laughs> call the cops. You probably did it, officer. <laughs> All right. Uh, bye. That was it. Goodbye, everyone. Fuck off. <laughs> All your games are taken away now. <laughs>